Hello, hello everybody. Hey, we're pretty much on time today. That's pretty cool. It's been, that's a lot in a pretty long time. But you know, it is so, it's so much like spring now. You know, I was outside and I was looking at the trees. They're all full of flowers. You know, it was a good temperature yesterday, I think. Now it's just gone a little cold today. You know, higher weather is just weird. It's like it can't decide. It can't decide if it's spring or if it's still winter and I'm... But you know what? I, I think I know what's going on. It seems like every single year, at least once in April in Ohio, it snows. And I feel like this would have been the time it was going to snow because it was getting down into like the 30s and 40s, but it's just not, a, it's not cold enough to snow. But I feel like this is... It happened a while ago. And, um... But yeah. Hopefully that makes sense. Oh, we have a donation from Thane. Let us see what Thane says. Uh, Thane donated and said, Hello, Katori. My GF has sent her audio so you have at least one woman trying to participate to the dating show. Also, I'm mostly lurk today because I lost one of my family's dogs today. Oh no! He passed away a few hours ago unexpectedly. Me and my family are mourning. No, I understand, Thane. It's very sad when, you know, a family pet does pass. When when my dog passed, uh, you know, last summer, it was very, very sad. So I hope you and your family do okay today. Very sad. My condolences for your furry friend. Oh, Ty, thank you for the rose. Thank you. Yes, Mr. Smee, snow. I want snow. You know how pretty it is when the trees are flowering in their snow? It just, it's like, it's so amazing. It's so amazing. Last time it happened, I took so many photos of myself. <laughs> I went outside and I was like, I forced my family. I'm like, come outside with me. We have to do this. Because like, when, when do you get opportunity? It, it was such an, a unique experience. It was just so cool looking. I was like, I have to document this with myself in it. Because it was just so... I don't know. I, I love taking, I love snow. I love taking photos in snow. So this was just, this was just, um, yes. For some reason, I can't hear the music in the thing. I think it's because my headphones got unplugged and I plugged them back in. I think it stopped it. Oh, well. I will have to have a stream in silence. Dan Gaming Fan donated and said, when can we expect an email about the dating show? I don't know. I got quite a few entries, so I have to sort through all the entries, like listen to each of them, which they range from a minute to like six minutes. So that's quite a bit, especially like, I don't even know how many I received. The last time I counted was 50, but that was not before the deadline. And I got like a big wave before the deadline ended. Like a lot of y'all were cutting it close. You guys were cutting it like right by midnight. But anyways, the whole point is, is I, I don't know because I have to sort through them all and make sure they, you know, um, and then decide like maybe like I'm probably going to like do like my, you know, maybe like my top 15 and then my top 10 and then we'll go down to maybe like f top five and then I'll have to decide from what well, we, we have four contestants. Maybe I'll do, I don't know how I'm going to do it, but you know, like I'll do a top whatever and then kind of make my way down from there and that'll take a while. So, um. You could always have the music off to the side on a muted tab solely for yourself. That is true, but I'm too lazy to actually. How do you do that? I'm not. I'm not that savvy with this Streamlabs. I feel like I'm gonna mess. How do you have a muted tab? Well, I guess my desktop is muted, so I can play it. Ha 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 ha! But will it be on loop though? This is Jay's. Let me see. Can I play this on loop? Will my computer do that for me? Let's see. It's the usual one that Jay made. He's so good with music, isn't he? Um, Mr. Wadapan donated and said, Hello, Katori. Sorry I'm late. I had to restart my disobedient machine. Did I? What did I miss? You didn't miss any... You actually didn't miss anything. We were just talking about weather and someone asked when the entries, when, you know, when I'll be announcing who the contestants are, when will you get an email saying if you, you know, are one of the contestants. And honestly, I don't know. I don't know when that's going to happen, but I, I will announce when I have sent out the emails. So like, for instance, like on YouTube and Twitter, I will send out, I'll, you know, I'll tweet out and I'll make an announcement in the community tab saying, hey, if you entered and, you know, I, if you entered the, uh, the dating show uh, auditions, 
um, I have sent out an email, you know, letting those know who have, you know, won, supposedly. Well, not won, but I guess, because like, you didn't win yet, but, you know, you won being a contestant, I suppose. So, you will be no, you will know, my gosh, <laughs> you will be no, you'll know when the emails are sent out. Um, oh, Jay, Jay donated and said, Cat, uh, Cat really about to drop the names and stream insane. What? No, I don't know yet. Dude, there's so much. Do you know how much? Do you know how many auditions I have to sort through? Even I don't know yet. I haven't downloaded them all. After I saw the second wave come in, I was just, I was like, you know, <laughs> I'm going to wait to do this till tomorrow. Dear gosh. He's like, well, I would have said something like one of your silly K-pop boy bands, but Jay's stuff is way better. Hey, listen, I don't, I don't, actually, I don't stand like a bunch of different K-pop bands, okay, bands, okay? Ace is like one of my favorites. Like, I feel like their stuff is really unique compared, and they're not like a big group, you know, like BTS. I'm not a fan of BTS, okay? Do not put me in that category. Thank you. Please don't do that. <laughs> I'm not a fan. But, um, no, just Ace. And then it was EXO, but then EXO kind of just, I don't know, they kind of... I'm not really too much of a fan of theirs much anymore. It's just they kind of fell off for me. So mainly it's just Ace now. But anywho. Anywho, I'm gonna get sidetracked. Okay, we have some uh Kofi donations. Let me see. Uh there it is. I don't know why the tab was being mean. A test look. Uh Wicked Penguin donated and said, I took a poll recently and I found out that 100% of people in the tent were upset. <laughs> ah, I see. I see. I see, Bobby. Oh, he's caught. He has more. Bobby, how long have you been? Have you, how long have you been compiling these? He's been probably compiling these dad jokes for a whole year now. Because we have another one that came in that said, what did the carpenter say when he finished his house? Nailed it. I feel like I've heard that one. Have you already sent that one? Maybe not. I I'm sure I've heard somebody say it. <laughs> but um iron piedmont donated and said hello katori this coming saturday i'm going to have my wisdom teeth removed and an implant put in i'm pretty nervous about it could would it be all right if i got some comforting words from celeste please sure you can hopefully i can say it well <clears throat> due to the weird weather stuff i've been if it's tmi sorry but it's just a bit mucusy it's kind of gross man like the weather can't decide over here and it's like messing with like everything <laughs> all right <clears throat> so celeste some comforting words from celeste uh for wisdom teeth removal my goodness but yeah good luck with that iron i am um, i might eventually have to remove mine too um i had i had enough space when i when i spoke to my um spoke to my dentist uh they were like yeah like you, you your your jaw is big enough for them to come in i'm like wow thanks but um no, they're, it's still causing- they didn't fully come in, you know what I mean? So, like, they're still, like, still, like, partially not in, so I don't know, I might have to remember those. But anyway, sorry, I'm going on a tangent. <clears throat> Alright, let's see if we can talk like Celeste for a second. Oh, Iron, I know you've been really recently worried about your teeth removal. I, myself, am not familiar with removing teeth in such a way, but I'm sure everything will be just alright. And afterwards, I'll have a nice cup of tea for you. Or ice cream? Is that what you humans eat after teeth removals? Either way, I'll be right here, as always. Yeah, like, what do you actually, what do you do after teeth removals? Like, I know, like, they put gauze in your mouth. Do you, like, have ice cream? Or is that, well, I know, like, they, you do that when you have, like, um, you get your tonsils removed. But no, um, I have known some people, I guess just from my own perspective. I, I know some people who've gotten their wisdom teeth removed and they've been pretty alright. So I, I'm sure you will do good, Iron. I'm sure you'll do good. Let's see. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's only like, what? Man, you know, this is why I made matcha for myself. I made myself a little matcha drink. You know? Um, recently, uh, when we went, um, what was it? When we went to go uh, to see the eclipse, we stopped at like a Starbucks because it was just nearby. And um, I got like that matcha lavender thing. And it tasted okay. I prefer regular matcha from there. I don't get Starbucks that often. 
but I was like, you know what? I was like, I should just make this at my own house. So I bought like myself some like vanilla syrup or something from the internet and you know what? It's pretty chill. It's pretty great. Actually, if you do, they, oh, what is it? If you, I guess just as like a random piece of information, I'm sure none of you are like super into Starbucks. Like I'm not super into Starbucks either, but if you really like that new lavender matcha drink, there's like a bottle of this lavender syrup like on Amazon. If you mix that with your matcha, it tastes the same. And you don't have to pay like freaking five, six, how much it is for a cup of it. So anyways, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, JJ Kaiju donated and said, sorry for missing last Saturday, long work day. No worries, I, I completely understand. It's been even crazy for me recently. I've been <sighs> trying to plan, you know, I'm planning a vacation for my family and, um, you know, just everything else that comes in between. It's pretty, it's just pretty crazy. Yeah. Oh, and yes, thank you for the reminder. Um, if anybody gets, if you, if you get kicked out of the stream, y'all, we're still going um, for some reason. YouTube likes to kick people out within like the first 10-ish minutes. It may have already happened. I'm not sure. But if you do get kicked out again, we're still going. I, I don't, I don't know. Let's see, Ty donated and said, joke, did you know that Mark Twain had a secret son that nobody knew about? His name was Choo Choo Twain. <laughs> I'm sure he did, Ty, I'm sure he did. <laughs> oh my y'all. All right, hold on, let's check on, we have a lot of Kofi's coming in from Bobby, so let's let's see what he's got going on. All right, we have, we have, three, we have three new dad jokes from Bobby on Kofi, so let's, let's read these. <laughs> Bobby said, my dad got fired as a road worker for theft. I wouldn't believe it. Oh, oh I couldn't believe it. But when I got home, all the signs were there. <laughs> Another one says, do they allow loud laughing in Hawaii or is it just aloha? You're killing me, Bobby. <laughs> the next one says, Katori, I have two unwritten rules. And that it literally shows one and two, but like the rules are not there. Like I can't, I don't know how to explain this to you guys because you can't see it. Oh, Bobby. <laughs> Let's see, Cyberman donated and he said, hey, Katori, hope you're good. Also, I made you a library in Minecraft in your honor. Hope you like, also, I like how you used my name as a character in yesterday's video. It was sweet. Also, I brought the last Halloween cards too. Oh, you were the one that bought the last- I, I saw that. I saw someone bought some Halloween cards. I didn't know that was you. Oh, your name's Jesse? I didn't know that. Or maybe did I? I don't know. I guess like uh, in- in um, I guess like in the donations, like I, it usually just says like it doesn't give people's like name names. So like I- but yeah, maybe- maybe I've seen that somewhere. But that's cool. That's cool, Cyberman. And um, oh wait, you said you made me a library? Let's see. Well, thank you for the library. I like how there's like, you put like blue accents in it. I like that, I like that. Thank you, thank you. And thank you for getting the last of the Halloween cards. I hope you like them. Shogo donated and said, Dear dragon in human form, I was so scared I was gonna miss your stream and your beautiful yawns that I rode my bike home from work so fast that I ran over three cats two grandmas five kids one truck and crashed my way through a parade no one survived but me i missed you oh my gosh shogo did like a whole massacre on his way home my gosh we'll probably hear it like on national news about the massacre in alaska <laughs> oh my gosh but no thanks for thanks for showing shogo i'm sorry you had to well i'm actually also sorry for the people that got ran over but <laughs> thanks for thanks for uh really really uh getting here in time we're very happy to have you here but yeah no i mean if you ever if you ever need to be a little late don't worry i'd hate for you to you know cause an, a national incident trying to get to my stream he was going at the speed of light y'all <laughs> oh we have another one from bobby bobby says what word starts with e ends with e but only has one letter in it it Oh, only has one letter in it. Envelope. Ha 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 ha. I read the last- I was taking it very, like, literally. I was like, wait, what do you- how, if there's only one letter, how does that work? But I- uh, yeah, I understand now. <laughs> Iron- Iron Piedmont donated and said that Kokiri says, It takes all kinds in the wholesome community. Everyone has talent, well, well, except me. The only thing I'm good at is playing video games. 
This Kofi was brought to you by the Piedmont Communication Services. Our reli reliability is ironclad. Kokiri, that is so not true and you know it. Kokiri, stop it. You know you have good drawings. They're cute. And if anything, you're very good at being very sassy. So you got that going for you too. You're very charming personality. Don't sell yourself short, mister. Oh, I'm, oh shoot, I lost my place. Why is it moving? Chat, why don't you stay where I say? Oh, Mr. Wanapon donated and said, oh, that reminds me, I've been to the, oh, the dentist yesterday. Oh, well, I hope your teeth are doing very well. No, no, no. I'm not becoming one of those basic Starbucks girls, okay? I buy, I, I actually bought my own, I have a van, my own vanilla syrup, so I make my own stoof. I make my own coffees and my own matcha drinks. It's all done by me. Homemade DIY. DIY. <laughs> I'm a DIY girl, I guess. But no, it's, it's, it's also just like so expensive, you know? Uh, I think when we went to uh, watch the eclipse, I think I bought some Starbucks for the fam. Just, you know, just like a little like, hey, like, well, let's try this out, you know? And um, yeah, it's so expensive. It's so expensive. And I was just like, you know what? I'm just going to, I mean, obviously the bottles of syrup are like expensive. But like if you look at like how much, how many drinks you can make out of that bottle of syrup, like it's, it's really like paying 16 bucks for a bottle of syrup and then you know, you can make like, I forgot how many said you can out of it, but you know what I mean? It's like, I think like one Starbucks was like $6 or something like that. It's crazy. Like, no. I don't care if they do have a little reward system. The reward system's also crazy too. Like you have to get like a hundred points just to like get a regular coffee or something. I was like, it's nuts. Garrick Anderson donated and said, I saw an Avatar comic strip where Iroh invents a new kind of tea, which turns out to be bubble tea. Zuko doesn't like it and Aang likes the chewy stuff. That's cute. I could see him doing that. Doing a bunch of tea concoctions. That'd be so cool if Iroh would. Cyberman donated and said, it was in my boyfriend proposal in an old fan mail. Oh, okay, yeah. I thought I heard it from somewhere. I couldn't remember, but... All right, all right. Yeah, I forgot y'all were sending <laughs> resumes. That was funny. I got one from you. I got one from Dictasu. Then I got one from Shogo. I got one from Piggies. Got it from a lot of people. Inept XIV donated and said, the only free time I had to record my audition was last minute, but I converted the file to MP MP3 wrong, so I submitted a corrupted file before I realized. Oh, okay. Um, did you resend it? I, I saw someone, I saw like an email sent by this person, uh, the same person twice. And so I figured that they were just resending it. So if that was you, I think it got, I think you did resend it if you did resend it. Cause I saw an email from the same person two times that said dating show. So, but yes, yes. Mr. Wanapon donating said, the dentist just cleaned my teeth. Ah, yes, teeth cleanings. You know, teeth cleanings aren't too bad. Your teeth feel nice and shiny afterwards. What sucks is when you have to go and they have to fill a cavity. Oh my gosh. Dude, I don't know what's going on, man. Like, my brother has like amazing teeth. Like he never, he's never had a cavity ever. And we all use the same tooth brushes we because we all buy them like in bulk so we all have the same toothbrushes we all use this that we have our own tooth toothpaste tubes but you know same brand of toothpaste same brand of toothbrush same brand of mouthwash and then yet somehow he just never gets cavities and i do actually we all do except for him i don't know he has like amazing genes or something he must have been born with amazing enamel bro anywho let's see let's see I think the last one I read was from Iron Piedmont about a message from Kokiri. So now we have, oh, we have three more, three more lovely dad jokes from Bobby. So let's see what they are. <laughs> the first one is, why is dark spelled with a K? Because you can't see in the dark. And the next one is, what always, what always starts with a W and ends, oh, okay. 
what always starts with the W and ends with the T. It just took it took me a second. I'm not gonna lie. I had to reread it. <laughs> Uh, the last one is, well not the last one, I should say the last one in this series, because I'm sure there are more that Bobby would love to send over. But it says, ever wonder what kind of Dr. Pepper was? Physician. A physician. Bobby? Why do you do this? Why do you do this to me? <laughs> Let's see. Uh, Joey Beasley donated and said, saw the spy family movie with with grandma and mom today. My campus annual fair is tonight. Also went to con with my uncle recently and met John Ray Davies. Oh, Man Ray. So Man Ray from SpongeBob. Amanda Lee Connors, Mrs. Joke and Lucy Christian. Uh, my only final, uh, my only finals on Wednesday sent you the Waluigi alt audio. Oh, okay, cool. You sent in Waluigi as your audition. That's cool. I look forward to listening to that. Um, that's cool that you're seeing the Spy uh, spy Family movie. I do want to go see that. Um, but um, yeah, you'll have to, hopefully it is good. I saw the trailer. I'm a little bit, I'm hoping it's good. I'm hoping it's good. I saw the trailer and I was like, oh gosh, I hope this is gonna be, like, I know it can be goofy sometimes. So I'm hoping that it actually pays off, but like, I don't know, the second season just didn't really do it for me. I, I wasn't a huge fan. So I'm really hoping the movie is really good. Wicked Penguin or Bobby donated and has another dad joke for us. Let's see what it says. Of all the inventions of the last 100 years, the dry erase board has got to be the most remarkable. Remarkable, you say, Bobby? I missed your donation, Adam? How did I miss that? Hold on, I'm sorry. Let me look. Oh yeah, I missed a few. Wait, no, I don't think I- I think I just didn't get to yours yet. Wait, well, that reminds me, I've been to the Genesis yesterday. Oh yeah, I missed quite a few people. Somehow the chat really got- Okay, hold on, I got a few super chats I missed. Adam donated and said, Hey, I hope my audition was submitted in time. I was at the airport leaving for a week and my equipment when the audio video dropped, so it was very last minute. Um, I think so? I think only one person, like, literally- sent it in like the day after like it was super late i mean if someone's like a minute late like i'm not gonna like i'm not gonna be a super big whatever about it but like if people are sending it in like a day three days whatever late you know i mean i'm you know there's a deadline you know what i mean but um but no um yeah i mean i i i, I don't think many people sent it in late so i think you're good uh or at least, you know everybody was pretty much at the deadline so i think i think you're good JJ Kaiju donated and said, I'd also like to clarify, Tiger looking like a Minecraft zombie was purely because the green skin and blue shirt, nothing else. <laughs> oh, I remember that. I was like, hey, you did her dirty since so she's like this Minecraft zombie. But no, you're right though. I looked at it and I was like, you know what? You're right. You are right. Like if you look at like the color coding, like she's like her skin's green. She has dark bluish shorts and she has a light blue, like, you know, ripped like shirt. I mean, it's pretty, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, she's wearing the same, yeah, Tagger has zombie drip. That's what she has. No, I did not take offense to it. I actually thought it was freaking hilarious after, <laughs> after I looked up the zombie. I was like, oh my gosh, you're right. Let's see. Jay donated and said, all I'm saying is my audio was goaded for real. I know Thor definitely picking mine for her, but I got another party to go to right now. Stay fresh and stay safe, y'all. Well, Jay, I'm sure, I'm sure you nailed your audition. So I, I look forward to listening to all of it. I, um, I know I've downloaded it already because I think you were one of the first to audition, actually. There was like a few people who auditioned like, like a few hours right after the video dropped. Um, so, but. But yeah, no, this will be really exciting. I'm like really excited to listen to everybody's and like kind of, you know, I don't know. I don't know who's, I mean, I know some people said they were doing characters. So this is really cool for me to like see like what characters people are deciding to do. You know, it's, it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun to listen to all of them. I am excited to do so. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you have fun at your party, Jay. Jay, you're having a lot of parties, man. Hope you have fun at it though. Have fun at your party, Jay. Have fun for all of us. see 
Derek Anderson donated and said, I saw an Avatar comic strip where Iroh invents a new kind of- Oh yeah, that, that's the one I read. Yeah, I must have missed these. I'm so sorry. I missed like three of them. I'm sorry, y'all. Okay. My gosh. Yeah, thank you, Adam, for saying that. I missed quite a few. Okay, anyways. Um, Ty Marshall donated and said, I didn't send my vid for the dating show. I wanted to give someone a chance besides I hate my voice. Oh, no, don't say that, Ty. Ty, you have a very lovely voice. But no, um, yeah, I mean, obviously, if you didn't want to, you know, no worries. Um, I mean, obviously, it's only if you wanted to. But yeah, don't, don't, you have a lovely voice, Ty. I've heard your voice. It is very, very nice. <laughs> JJ Kaiju donated and said, can you please, please, please say. <laughs> you want me to say, I guess, I guess, wait, that's what, wait. I guess you are my little pog champ come here in Jinx's voice. Oh my god. You know what? I think I've said this before. You know, I remember. I remember. Oh my gosh. This unlocked a memory. I think it was one of the, during one of the Apex streams, I think Jimbo asked me to say like little pog champ in Jinx's voice. So like someone else has asked me to do this. That's so funny. All right. Let's see. Um, <clears throat> Man, hold on. <clears throat> my gosh, her voice is like always like messes up my throat. <clears> throat. Her voice is like it's weird. I gotta think of a voice line to say for her. Her voice is kind of like in this Doctor Oct. <clears throat> like craps on a while. What was something I used to say to get the voice? I used to say a certain line. What did I used to say? Oh, it's been forever. All right, I'm just gonna try to get, I'll, I'll, I'll try to get as close as I can, but there was a line that I'd always say and then I could do it and I can't remember what the line was. What was it? Oh, well, well I'll, I'll try to get as close as I can. Now it's bothering me. I wish I knew what I said. Oh, well. <clears throat> we'll just try to get her voice in some, it, it's kind of like similar down in here. Is this kind of similar? <clears throat> Oh my gosh, hold on. Let me see. Oh, come on. Some, some we'll, we'll, we'll do somewhere around there. <clears throat> so he wants me to say, I guess you're my little pock champ. Come here. I, mean, I feel like her voice isn't that gruff, is it? I feel like it's like, it's somewhere like down in here, but it's not like completely all the way. I think I'd have to listen to one of the audios that she has. I, I usually have to like listen to like one of her, like I, I literally look up Jink compilations and I like listen to her voice because it does change. Like when she was, when she, sometimes when she talks to Silco, it's more softer, but then like when she's talking to herself, it can get pretty gruff. So like when she talked to Silco, I remember like one of the lines was like, blah, blah, blah. And she was like, did I miss anything? But then like when she like gets angry, it gets like really whatever but anyways i'm gonna go on a tangent about her but hopefully that sounded similar enough jj kaiju thank you for donating inept xiv donated and said yeah i managed to fix it and resend it all right cool i'm glad you got to resend it i look forward to hearing it did you make sure to drink milk <laughs> Eat a bunch of sugary stuff? No, I don't. I'm not. I don't have a sugar tooth. That's like my sister. I like more savory things. Like I like to just like, like no. Like I literally like one of my favorite snacks is literally just popcorn. Like that's like popcorn and tapatio. I know that sounds really weird, but I like literally put hot sauce in my popcorn. <laughs> but no, I, I don't eat a lot of sugar, honestly. No. So um, yeah, it's kind of weird. And I mean, I get I get enough calcium. I don't we we drink. I know it sounds weird, but we actually don't really have like we don't drink a lot of milk. We actually have like almond milk and whatever. We still like make sure we have enough calcium in our diet. So I did drink a lot of milk though when my teeth were first forming. <laughs> but I was a wee little little lad or a lass, a little lass. I was gonna say chap, but then I knew like it wasn't chap, and so I was gonna say lass, and I said lad. But anyways. Ba -ba 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 -ba. 
Um, oh yeah, there's Adam's donation, which said you missed my donation, which thank you for letting me know because I missed so many donations. <laughs> All right, let's not miss any more. Let's try to keep on track here. Garrick Anderson donated and said, I discovered another anime called Trapped in a Dating Sim. It's really hilarious. The MC hates being there, but makes the most of it. He really gets into tea making and tea parties. Oh, that's cool. I like tea. Tea parties. Cyberman donated and said, It's funny, I always thought you were remarkable. <laughs> Aw, thank you, Cyberman. Thank you. Miland Bawa donated and said, Yo, Katori, I dare you to watch RRR and Amar Singh Chamila? What? Both films did well overall. Me being Indian, I suppose you'll love these two films. What? I have never heard of these. What is this? It was an Indian singer. Wait, this is... Wait, oh, it's on Netflix? It says it's on Netflix. Huh, I've never heard of any of these. Interesting. I don't think I've ever watched an Indian movie before. The only... Indian media that I have been like as in like India like not Native American but like Indian media I've been um exposed to was like I've seen compilations which is this is probably not full representation of it but I've seen compilations on the internet like where you know like those like Indian soap operas where like there's like a dramatic moment and then like, <laughs> like the way the cutscene is they have like a billion like cuts or something I hope you guys know what I'm talking about but it's it's <laughs> it's pretty funny you should look it up like they, they were, it was very, <laughs> very overly dramatic. <clears throat> Let's see. The guy donated and said, "So good at her job, you'd swear she has a degree. She has a degree. Voice makes stress. Oh, she, oh, oh. The, sorry, there must, there must be like a. Sorry, there's probably supposed to be punctuation there. So good at her job, you swear she has a degree. Voice makes stress go like." chamomile tea so many vids done well no wonder she has 110k <laughs> client clientele can't linger wait is that clientele hold on yeah that's what i thought it was clientele clientele can't linger vanishes like thanos snapped his fingers to <laughs> well no thank you the guy i'm glad you think that i you know my my voice range is very good but no, I, I, yeah, I, I love, I love voice acting. I'd love to actually vo voice act, like, for real, like, if I could. Um, yeah, who knows? Maybe, you know, maybe I should start trying out for some stuff. There's always, like, online auditions somewhere. I should try out for some stuff, and then who knows? Maybe you'll hear my, <laughs> hear my voice randomly somewhere, and you'll be like, holy, holy heck, I know that voice. Milan Bawa said both films are on Netflix. Oh, okay. All right, all right, all right. Mr. Smee said maybe one of them is me, but I didn't include my name, so I have a fair shot. Mr. Smee, you- like, We think I'm gonna discriminate against you because, like, Mr. Smee, I told you you could enter. I told you, like, you have- you have a fair chance as anybody else is entering. I'm not, I'm not gonna boot out your entry. But if you did- if you did audition under a different alias, you know, I mean, who knows? Maybe you'll be picked. I don't know. Or if it, I have not listened to all of them yet. There are too many. <laughs> too many. But we shall see. It'll be cool to listen to all of them. Do, 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 do. Okay, I think I've... Hold on, we still have a few more super chats to do. Natasha donated and said, Ella Purnell, Jinx's VA, is Lucy in the Fallout show. Ooh, cool. I didn't know that. The guy donated and said, "This community is wholesome. Ne uh, is wholesome. Negativity meet. Oh, negativity meet your fate. Get cooked. Oh, go get cooked to a crisp, like a well done steak. Feel like the wholesome heat. Proud to say. Oh, feel the wholesome heat. I feel. Sorry, everything's all in one thing. The community is whole. Let me read this again." This community is wholesome. Negativity, meet your fate. Go get cooked to a crisp, like a well-done steak. Feel the wholesome heat. Proud to say I'm a yeet. Well, thank you so much, the guy. 
I am glad you call your I am glad you are proud to call yourself a yeet. A wholesome yeet. Hmm? I should make I should make some kind of shirt that says wholesome yeet on it so that way you guys can get that. All right, let's check on Kofi real quick. Cause I know we've definitely missed quite a few, but I got so behind in the super chats. I wanted to be sure I didn't miss those either. Um, what was the last one I read? Okay, I think the last one I read was from Joey Beasley. So let's read this one. Wicked Penguin or Bobby donated and said, of all the inventions of the last hundred years, the dry erase, oh, that was the one about being remarkable. Okay, I already read that one. <laughs> Let's see. They donated and said, I still have an antidote. Uh, I, oh, oh, antidote. Sorry. <clears throat> As you know, I'm a therapist and today a patient decided to pay me 11 sessions in advance because I quote him, I need to do that to motivate myself to heal and feel better. He gave me something like $550 today. I, I saved most of it. Oh my goodness. But no, wait, five, $550 for 11 sessions? I feel like... I don't know, Grinch, I don't know, I don't know exactly um, what kind of therapy you do, but I felt like, I always thought like therapists made like so much, like 11 sessions for, how much would that be per session? But, um, but no, that's, that's amazing thing. I'm, I am, I've never heard of anybody like deciding to pay upfront, like for 11 sessions. That's like a lot, but I suppose like, in, yeah, like as you said for him, he was, it's a way for him to make sure he goes and to, you know, actually improve you know, his mental health. Cause I know a lot of people, like it's really hard for them to like actually make themselves go to, you know, anything that's gonna better themselves. As in like, you know, whether you're gonna go to the gym or you're gonna go to therapy or you're gonna, you know, go out and do something. It's it's always hard to push yourself to do things. So that's, that is, that's a pretty awesome thing. I'm, that's a really, you know, that's a really good story to hear today. Very uplifting story. Someone take an initiative. And um, I guess it's good for you. You got 11, <laughs> you got 11 sessions painted advance. That's insane. That's insane. I've never heard a story like that before. But no, it's a very happy story. Very, very good. And good. It's also good to save money. <laughs> it's good to save money in days like these. Wicked Penguin or Bobby donated. Oh, we have another dad joke. Let's see. <laughs> hey, Katori. Have you ever tried archery blindfolded? If no, you don't know what you're missing. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm sure I do, Bobby. I am sure I do. <laughs> Shogo donated and said, In the new audio, I got so sad for younger sister when listener didn't say anything after she confessed. It was like one of those heartbreaking scenes on a rom-com. I was going, kiss her, kiss her, you dummy. And then the listener finally kissed her and I said, yes. <laughs> oh my gosh. I mean, yeah, it's, it's you know, you just, half the time, I don't know what the heck I'm doing when I'm recording these things. It's kind of, as I said, it's all improv. So like none of this is scripted. So that's kind of funny that like, that there was like suspense and that I wasn't even trying, I wasn't even trying to build any suspense. Um, but no, Shogo, thank you. I'm glad you liked the re most recent audio. I am, um, I think I did like b a big sister audio, like, you know, best friends, older sister or whatever, I think recently. And I thought, you know what, what if there's a younger sister? What if there's like a, I think it's because I've recently watched the middle, right? Like, um, and like, was it like Sue? Sue is her name. Like, you know, Axel's younger sister, Sue, like, and then like she ends up getting together with, um, his his friend, uh, what's his name? Sean, right? I think his name is Sean. Sean, um, what's the last name? Oh, it's gonna kill me. Cause it's, it's Sue Heck. It starts with a D. Oh, what is it? Okay, I'm gonna have to look it up. I can't not. Donahue, it's Donahue. That's what it is. Okay, sorry, but anyways. Anywho, I'm gonna go on a tangent. Let's see what the next donation is. Look at Penguin. Oh wait, hold on. He has a few. Let's let's get them all lined up. Let's see. We have. Oh my gosh, Bobby. How many dad jokes do you got going here? We got four dad jokes from Bobby. So let's <laughs> let's read all of these. Um. Okay. Let's see. The first one is. I got fired from a keyboard factory for not putting enough shifts. They wouldn't even let me return or enter. Katori, they even changed the caps locks on me. Oh my gosh, Bobby, Bobby. 
<laughs> the next one is my doctor today said I had something called the peekaboo virus sent me straight in to the ice oh they sent me straight into the ICU oh my gosh Bobby what's the next one it says dear optimist pessimist and realist while you are arguing about that glass being half full I drank it sincerely the opportunist okay that one's that is actually pretty, that is okay that was not too bad <laughs> all right what is this one this one says, I showed my friend my tool shed and pointed to my ladder. I told him that was my step ladder. I never knew my real ladder. Oh my gosh, Bobby. <laughs> Why do you, where do you find these? Oh my gosh. Let's see. All right, we got a, a donation from Egrich SMG. This one says, hey, hey, hope you had a good week. Any new games? I'll be off, to, I'll, I'll be off of school for a few weeks, so that's nice. Also... He wants me to say, so Reb, Rebel, so Rebel GF, I'm assuming, hands Neko a deadly weapon. And it says, go do crime. And Neko says, ah, and runs off shooting. Neko's gonna go do crime. Go do crime. Neko's like, oh yeah. It's time. It's time for everyone to see the true power. Kneel before me. I feel like in some alternate universe, Neko would be like very chaotic. <laughs> Everybody get down on the ground! <laughs> I feel like she'd be like, you remember that one episode from Spongebob where Spongebob tried to like rob like a bank and he like wore the sock fully over his head and he's like, put the money in the bag! And like he's facing away from the register. I feel like that would be Neko. Oh my gosh. Let's see. Shogo donated and said, A police officer pulled me over and said, I'm looking for a man with one eye. I told him you'll find him a lot quicker if you use both eyes. Is it okay if I dump the dad joke train or will you not like me anymore? <laughs> no, not you too, Shogo. Please, no. But no, obviously, I mean, no, I, it's not dad jokes just kill me a little bit inside each time but no shogo it's not that i won't like you anymore if you tell dad jokes believe me i've i i hear you know i hear dad jokes a lot and you know it doesn't mean i care any less they just you know they just hurt <laughs> they just hurt a bit that's all Alrighty, let's let's read some super chats so i don't get too behind what was the last one i read Adam80 said, I look at Casting Call Club. Ooh, we're getting insider information. I'm assuming that's like for, this is like for um, voice acting stuff. Let's go. You know what? Sure. You know what? Why not? Why not? You know, you know what? Because, you know, you really, you should try for anything. Because that's how I got this channel. I know like, I get, I, um, I do see uh, comments a lot asking like, oh, what made you want to do this? And honestly, I never really I know it sounds bad but like I never really wanted to do this you know this wasn't like on like you know when I graduated college it wasn't like yes now I can become an ASMR artist you know what I mean it wasn't a part of like that was not part of the game plan but you know when you're when you are an artist it's really hard to make money off of art you know and so you try anything and obviously I saw people doing this and I, I thought hey I could do that you know I have a bunch of different voices I had a decent mic um I thought if I need to you know you know a lot of them had like you know, care. You know, anime characters or you know, uh, drawn characters as their thumbnails, and I was like, I can draw, so like that works out, and it all just kind of, you know, I tried it and it worked. So you know what, I should try out for that too because you just never know. Just keep on trying for stuff. I mean, I tried a lot of different things before I came to this, so you never know. JJ Kaidu donated and said, Random question. What character or characters gave you nightmares growing up? Mine were the tripods from War of, War of the Worlds in 2005. Um. Hmm. You know, I don't think there was ever really anything specific that I, I like that showed up in my dreams as nightmares. 
usually it was always some kind of monster. Like it was always like never really fully seen. It was always like dark or like deformed. Like it never it was never like I probably had like some freaking scary monsters as a kid. I was very imaginative, but they were never like from like this TV show or that TV show. Like I was never specifically scared of anything. I know there were two instances where I had a bad dream about like a show I watched, but it was never continuous. You know what I mean? It wasn't like, oh, these characters give me nightmares. It was like they just showed up in my nightmare. So like I know when I was a kid, um, granted, I don't know if it was Voldemort or if it was just, I don't you remember, remember Harry Potter when Harry opened that book and then the book, like, like a face like popped out and was screaming and stuff. I remember having, I don't know if it was, so I could, in a sense, the face was kind of like pale because it was from pages. I couldn't tell in my dream as a kid if it was Voldemort's face or just from that, or like similar to that book. But I know in one of my dreams when I was a kid, uh, I, I slept by a lot of pillows and one of my pillows like literally a face came out of it like that and was screaming So I remember that as a kid. I know I had dementors in my dream as a kid before but um, No, like it wasn't like I was ever scared of anything specifically in a movie that showed up in my dreams It was always something really like vague or, or just like a random monster my mind would make up but um no, yeah the guy donated and said, sorry, meant to say stress can't linger in the first one. Oh, okay. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Cyberman donated and said, how goes you pixel emoji? Oh, how's your pixel emoji going? Would love to see. Um, uh, that's been put on the back burner because I, I, I've been trying to animate it and it wasn't just, it wasn't turning out like how I wanted. So I kind of took a break from it. And then now with this dating show thing, I just, I haven't done it. I mean, granted, I could just, I could just put it up like as a regular image that shows up, but I was hoping for it to move, you know, I figured it'd look better. Um, but it could always be put as a placeholder for now because I'd rather, I think I'd rather have that in the fireworks, you know what I mean? So maybe I will upload that sometime. Garrick Anderson donated and said, if you want to do some research into making a giantess GF, look up Cherry's Love is Eight Meters Tall. It's a manga for now, but I heard it'll get animated. Ooh. Cherry's Love is Eight Meters Tall. Is she, is she a tall lady? Oh, she's a massive, she's a massive woman. I know when, when it said eight meters, I'm like, isn't that, isn't that like really big? <laughs> so no, she's a giant. She is actually a giant. Thing said, I charge 50 euros per session. It's not too cheap or too expensive. You know, that's a really nice thing. Cause like over, I will say this, like over here getting therapy is super expensive. Like it's really expensive. Like when I was a kid, like I had a lot of anxiety issues, which I think I've said before. And so like they tried to like do like, you know, therapy to help my anxiety. And like, it was so expensive. And honestly, I will say the therapist I had was really bad. Like it was not helpful at all. Um, but regardless, like it's, it's so expensive. So no thing that that's really nice of you to like, you know, to like, you know, give a nice, you know, I mean, obviously you want to, you know, charge for your time. You're, it's very important since, you know, you are a, you know, you have the ability to be a therapist. Obviously you, you know, got, you know, you learned skills in order to be one. Um, but no, like over here, like they charge like so much, it's so expensive. And so that's why a lot of people don't get therapy, which I think is really sad. So that is very nice of you, Thane. That is very, very admirable. We need development for Alex, that's what Thor said. <laughs> oh, Alex, yeah, the uh, ambiguous friend. Yeah, I never gave Alex a specific gender because I know like, you know, like since I wanted it to be like to the listener, you know, it was supposed to be their best friend, right? And so like, if you are usually friends with dudes or usually friends with girls, I didn't want to like make it like, you know, like sometimes when there's like something in the audio and it pulls you out of it, you're like, oh, I'm not usually, you know, like, oh, I, most of my friends are usually dudes or all, most of my friends are usually girls. So that's why I made it so ambiguous because I thought that that way you can just decide for yourself. So we never really found out what Alex looks like. You know what, I should draw Alex and Allie next to each other. So that way you guys can get a visual of what I picture. Like Alex will have to be very ambiguous as to like what the gender is, like you just wouldn't know. And then Allie would be like the, you know, very pink, very pink-esque redhead. Adam80 donated and said, I don't know if this one was used here. What do you call Batman when he skips church? Christian Bale. <laughs> oh my gosh. 
No, Adam, no. Why, Adam, why? <laughs> oh, Alex K, thank you so much for becoming a wholesome yeet. Welcome, welcome to the yeets. We got cookies here. <laughs> do, 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 Ty Marshall donated and said, I saw this mallard eating a burger. It was a McDonald duck. <laughs> you know, at first when I was reading this, I actually thought you were telling us a story. And then I realized, I realized what it was. Gosh dang. Gosh dang, you got me, Ty. <laughs> I was like, oh wow, you saw a mallard eating a burger? That's crazy. Gosh dang. Where's my standee? I know, Kokiri, I know, I'm sorry. You know what? That is a good question. That is a good question because those should have been sent out by now, actually. I've been so distracted by the dating show and everything that I have not... I have... Hold on. Where is the invoice for this? I'm gonna look this up right now because I ordered that a long time ago. Hold on, sorry. I'm just doing this for my own peace of mind because I know I ordered this a while ago. Yeah, I know. They never said they shipped it out. Yeah, what the heck? I ordered this back in March, bro. What the heck? Yeah, no. Well, actually, yeah, I ordered it in March and then at the end of March, they gave me a proof. You know, they give you a proof to make sure everything looks okay before they go into production. And so it's been over two weeks. So the production should have been over by now. So yeah, it's not like I'm, they're making body pillows or anything. I didn't order those this time, which I know, I'm sorry. But um, yeah, that should be done. So that's, that's, that's crazy. No, I'm gonna have to email them and be like, yo, where's my stuff? Cause I was hoping, I was hoping to have them out by now. So yeah, yeah, I, I know Kokiri, I'm with you. Where are my standees? They have not shipped, that, they have been not shipped to me yet. Holy heck. <laughs> Boss, when's that Fortnite stream with your boys? I, I know. I'm sorry. We, oh, gosh, I still have this long list for Apex, so I honestly, I don't know. I'm hoping in the summer things will be less crazy because you know my siblings will have less stuff going on. Therefore, I have less stuff going on, and I'll have some time to do like some extra gaming streams. But I know the summer's also going to be kind of busy because we're you know. We're figuring out some things for future stuff, and we're also going on a vacation. But the, vaca I mean, the vacation shouldn't I mean it's not going to take up everything, so it should be fine. But um, yeah, I think yeah we should you know what? yeah we hopefully this summer I'm going to say that this summer I should be able to throw in a few gaming streams, some extra streams, so that way we can do some Apex, and you can see how terrible I've become because I haven't played Apex in freaking months, y'all. That's how busy I've been. I haven't even been playing Apex. Granted, Baldur's Gate has taken over my life. But, um, <laughs> but yeah, we'll, we'll hopefully we'll get some gaming. Hopefully we can get a mod Fortnite stream in where we can play some stuff. And then maybe we can do a round also with some of y'all. But anywho. Okay, we also have to check Kofi because I know we probably got a lot of Kofis. Hold on. Oh my y'all, I can only imagine how many Kofis we have. I know Bobby's been putting in a lot of dad jokes, so oh my gosh, Bobby, Bobby, oh my gosh. Let's see. What's the difference? Here it is. Okay, Bobby has two parts right now. Okay, here's a, here's a two-part donation, which I'm assuming is a long dad joke, so let's see. What's the difference between a piano, a tuna, and a bottle of glue? You can, you can tune a piano, but you can't piano a tuna. If you're wondering where the glue comes in, don't worry. People get stuck on that. Bobby! No. <laughs> All right, hold on. There's, why, how many more? Okay, there's, well, okay, there's, there's a lot more, but we're just going to read these next two and then there's some other donations. Wicked Penguin or Bobby donated and said, When I moved into my new igloo, my friends threw me a surprise housewarming party. Now I'm homeless. Well, that'll happen when you, you know, get fire by ice or snow, so... Gotta be careful about that. <laughs> he also said, Dwayne Johnson's downstairs neighbors are clueless about almost anything. I suppose you would be too if you lived under a rock. Oh, Bobby. 
All right, let's see. We have a donation from Cyberman that says, once the dating show is over, will you have time to put back all the videos you privated? Also, can we see them again? Even the fan mail with my proposal, LOL. Also, I would love to buy Chibi Celeste keychain or Chibi Neko housekeeper rebel and ghost roommate. It's cute, lots of cash. <laughs> um, Yeah, I don't think I'll be doing many more, uh, uh, at least in terms of keychains. I have so many keychains in my shop right now. Like there's just so many, I, I literally can't justify buying more keychains when I have so many. Um, so I don't know if I'll do that. Uh, but I think right now I'm going to try out the standy thing because I'll see how that goes. But also it seems like the cards are doing really well. So I'll probably do some more cards. So maybe we can, uh, let's see what cards. We don't have a rebel card yet. A rebel, a housekeeper. We have a Neko card. We don't have the, well, we have the ghost roommate card. But yeah, no. Um, yeah, I, I, I'll probably, uh, until I can deplete some of my keychain stock, because I have so many keychains, I'll probably wait on the keychains for a bit. But as for the uh, the video stoof, um, yeah, I, when, once things die down, I'll probably get started on that where I can re-edit some things. Yes, yes, yes. But no, a chibi, a chibi Celeste is very cute. Very, very cute. Very, very cute. Granted, I think... Did all my chibi ones sell out? Maybe the, maybe it's just the chibis that people well, no, because there's I think I have some Christmas chibis left too, I think. I'll have to double check on that. They donated and said to explain. Ah yes, here we go. Wait. Yeah, yeah, to explain. I charge a session I charge a session, which is 45 minutes to an hour, 50 euros, roughly $54. But in Belgium, patients get refunded 20 euros out of the 50 euros for 20 sessions a year. I still get paid fully myself. It's the mutually it's the mutually in slash insurance that refunds the patients. Oh, mutuality. Mutuality? Hmm. That's really interesting, Thane. That's in Dude, that's insane. You get refunded some of your money for going to 20 sessions a year. Or, 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 or for getting 20 sessions a year. Dude, that's freaking lit. Dude, that'd be nice if that was over here. More people probably wouldn't. A lot of people over here would probably sort through some of their issues if they actually were able to get some good therapy. Oh man. But no thing, that's really cool. That's really cool. The more I never knew you got refunded for going to therapy. That's insane. That is insane. I mean, obviously I mean, obviously you probably know the American us Americans, our health healthcare stuff isn't the best. Ooh. <laughs> But no, yeah, that's that's really cool. I wish we had that over here. Oh, uh, we have more from Bobby. Let's see what Bobby has to say. He said, what do you call an espresso with a cold? A cough E. He also said, if a child refuses to nap, are they resisting arrest? No, Bobby. Gosh, hold on, we have two more. My dog accidentally ate a whole bag of Scrabble tiles, so I took him to the vet. No word yet. What's the other one, Bobby? Come on, let's see what it is. It said, I used to work at a Pepsi Cola plant, but I left because it was soda pressing. I just want to know how, how long you've been compiling these, Bobby. How long has it been? I just want to know. I just want to know. I just want to know. <laughs> oh my y'all. Alright, let's see. What's the next super chat? Garrick Anderson donated and said, My last nightmare was a few weeks ago. It involved Cazadors from a fallout- wait, what? Sorry, I hear Cazador and I think of Cazador from Baldur's Gate. It's a creature? Whoa, it looks like that? That's interesting. So, like, literally in a different game, Cazador is, like, this fly-looking thing. That's weird. Involved- Oh, what I was picturing was a bunch of Cazadors, which is basically this vampire guy. So I was picturing this, a bunch of vampire guys just, like, <laughs> like littering the area. Wait, let me read that. It involved Cazadors from Fallout New Vegas and Vault 92 from Fallout 3. It was mostly weird than scary. Well, I'm sorry. If those are those little fly things you're talking about, I'm sorry you had to witness that. I'll test. Ooh, the chat flew. Don't don't do that, chat. Kaiju or JJ Kaiju donated and said, uh, "Random intrusive thought is butt cheeks a swear." <laughs> 
<laughs> no, it's not a swear. Next me said yes, kaiju banned. <laughs> oh gosh. No, butt cheeks is not a swear. I mean, if you get really weird about it, well, you know, I don't know what's gonna happen then, but I mean, it's not a swear. <laughs> I think just to guess, it, 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 it's, it'll never be a swear, but you can, you can, you can definitely say something that, uh, depending on what you say, you know, I don't know. We gotta keep things wholesome around here, but you know, butt cheeks is not a swear. <laughs> I don't know why I'm getting a kick out of this. <laughs> that is a pretty random intrusive thought, but I'm glad I could give you an answer, Kaiju. I'm glad I could give you an answer. Mr. Wadapan donated and said, Have been to places like a cinema? Have you thought of a live show area? Arena? Wait, have you been to places like a cinema? So like, like just like a big theater, you mean? I mean, I've been to like a, I've been to a movie theater before. Um, I guess it depends on how big the movie theater you're like uh you your referencing is but um but, or like a live show i've been to like i've been to like a movie theater i've also been to i've been to a few plays before so like you know like at the actual you know theater theater um so i, I guess i'd say yes because it was live it was a live theater show so do, 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 do. Do, do, do. Let's see. <laughs> you demand goblin merch, Thor? Goblin merch. You know what? She is cute. We should make a goblin card. Honestly, she is really cute. You know what? I could probably make a goblin standee. It'd be cute to actually, like, we have some standees of, um, you know, the, what's it called? We have some standees of, uh, the, uh, crap, what's her name? Why am I saying what's her name? It's me. Of Annabelle. <laughs> we have some standees. We have some standees of me. Of my avatar for the anniversary event. So, you know, it'd be cool to have standees of also the goblin and then you can like have them like, like it'll actually be sized correctly. So like if we ever make a standee of Orc GF, she'll obviously be taller. We'll have them all to scale. That'd be cool. You can get them all to scale and like the, the heights and stuff. That'd be pretty cool. Granted, I'd have to draw them all, like, full-sized, which, obviously, doing full-bodied characters takes a while. It mainly takes a while, because you gotta get the anatomy right. Ooh. But anywho. Anywho. Time Marshall donated and said, I met a leech who was buying a Valentine's card. He was a sucker for romance. <laughs> oh, gosh, Ty. No, Ty, not you too. Oh my y'all. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Oh no. What chat? Don't do that. Why is it flying up? Let's see. Uh Mr. Wanapon donated and said, Well, yeah, I mean, a live show arena features, like, Marvel dinosaurs, how to train your dragon stuff. So you mean just, like, you mean just, like, the movie theater? Like, just, like, watching a movie in the movie theater? I've, yeah, I've, I have done that. I have done that. Indeed, I have. Oh, I'm sorry. Mr. Wanapon donated and said, well, yeah, I mean, I oh, already wrote, my gosh, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Natasha donated, I was reading the wrong one, and said, Goblin Small, Goblin GF, life-size standee. Dude, that standee, it has to be four feet tall. How am I going to ship that? <laughs> but no, I, I think, you know, I think that'd be really cool. If the standees actually sell well, because I mean, obviously I can't produce things that aren't going to sell, but, you know, if they do well, then that'd be super cool to like make more that are like, actually race you know sized as they're supposed to be you know what i mean like the orc gf could be taller goblin gf would be shorter you know obviously the ones that are taller and shorter will you know vary in price a little bit because you know i mean if goblin gf is like the half a size of the other standee like you're obviously not you know it'd be bad to make you guys pay the same price um but 
No, that'd be cool. That would be very cool. Goblin GF is small. The guy donated and said, Don't feel bad, I've lost two teeth to cavities. Oh no! Depression sucks. I feel like I could be on the set of the Beverly Hillbillies. LOL. Hope you get that reference. No, I, I've watched the Beverly Hillbillies. I actually, I watched that show as a kid. It was really funny. I remember, I haven't watched that in forever, but I remember liking it as a kid. Um, but no, no. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Teeth, teeth and cavities suck. It's, you know, I mean, I'm obviously, ha I'm obviously a portion of it is, you know, taking care of your teeth, but I've, I've also like done a lot of research and even my dentist has said that some people are just born with a certain kind of enamel. Like some people just have good teeth and some people just have not good teeth. Like you're going to be more prone to getting cavities. So therefore you have to like do all these extra steps to make sure you don't get them, which sometimes it just doesn't always pan out, but you know, just get your teeth regularly che checked up on if you can. I try to do that myself, you know, go for my cleanings and stuff. And then, um, there were like these mints. There were like these mints my mom got. I know it sounds weird, like, yeah, like eating mints to help your teeth, but it's not like a regular mint. It's actually some kind of medicinal, like, it's supposed to be like something you're supposed to have in between meals and it's supposed to like help your teeth. It tastes like mint, but it's, it's not just like a mint. You know what I mean? It's not like a candy mint. I don't know how to explain it, but it's some kind of, it has a bunch of stuff, it's some, some kind of, minerals and stuff in it i don't know <laughs> i don't know she'll probably know what it is because she obviously got it garrick anderson donated and said as you can or cannot see in in chat cazadors are not fun they're like mutated wasps and the only way to deal with them is with nuclear ordinance <laughs> oh yeah i mean cazador in boulder's gate isn't great either so i guess in both ways they're both terrible so i completely understand i already have a bad connotation to cazador so don't you worry don't you worry. <laughs> Cyberman donated and said, Imagine stand imagine standees with you chasing me with heart eyes. <laughs> standee. Actually, it'd be cute to do a little chibi. A little chibi. A little chibi Katori standee. I mean, obviously, I mean, if the standees do well, I'll do a bunch of cool little standees. I think they're, I have, I have a few standees I bought from conventions and I always thought they were kind of cool. You know, it's like, they get to, it's like a little figurine you kind of get on your desk. But yes. Mr. Wanapon donated and said, well, have you ever heard of something like the O2 Arena in London? I have not. I have not heard of that. JJ Kaiju donated and said, Fun facts, Kaiju is Japanese for giant monster and JJ are my initials. My real name is John with an H and I will control future intrusive thoughts. <laughs> it's fine. It was actually funny. I, I, it was, I, the, you're not in trouble. I took no offense to that. That was, it was, it's chill. It's chill. Don't worry. It is very chill. <laughs> I will control future intrusive thoughts. That's funny. Yeah, don't worry, JJ. You're, you're not in trouble or anything. I'm sure the mods were just teasing you. Natasha donated and said, I know this means nothing to you, Kat, but in New Vegas, I ran into the Quarry Junction Deathclaw Nest to avoid a single Cazador. Well, Natasha, that sounds like a very perilous journey. I do not understand any of that. I mean, I can kind of visualize it. You know, I mean, you, you ran into a quarry. And I can just picture it being like a desert land because New Vegas makes me think of desert. And, uh, you know, there's this big, massive fly looking thing, wasp coming after you. So that I'm sure that was a very perilous. Look at that, you guys. Look at Natasha. Look at Natasha doing some sick moves. She's got it, y'all. <laughs> Katori born with British enamel. That's rough, buddy. Yeah, it just means you got to do extra stuff. You know, you got to put in the extra work, you know? Put in the extra work to make sure your teeth are healthy and good. Bop I I literally actually floss my teeth every day. I actually have to. Because the way that my wisdom teeth came in, they didn't come in all the way. So, like, like literally stuff gets stuck back there. It's super annoying. It actually, like, inflames my gums. So, like, every day I gotta floss to make sure I, you know get anything out of there so i guess that's despite that being super annoying and sometimes really painful um it makes me floss my teeth every day so i guess that's good you know it's a reminder 
Cyberman. Oh, Cyberman, thank you for the rose. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for the rose. Let us see, let us see. We have gone Kofi. We have a few from- We definitely have some from Bobby. Oh my gosh, Bobby. Okay, we have a bit. Let's just let's just get them all. Let's let's do let's do them all. How many are these? How many are there? One, two, three, four, five. We have five dad jokes. <laughs> let's go. All right. Also, Bobby, thank you so much for donating. Let's see what he has to say. He said, my wife accused me of stealing her thesaurus. Not only was I shocked, I was appalled, aghast, and dismayed. So my partner dumped me for only talking about video games. I said, what did we have to fall out? <laughs> what did we have to fall out for? <laughs> he also said, what do you, oh, what do you call a sad robot? A cyborg. Also, I promise I won't tell any dad jokes if I get chosen to play Apex. <laughs> Bobby, you're already on the list. You're on the list. You are on the list, Bobby. You're on the list. I mean, be that it may, you're a bit down on the list, but you are on the list. <laughs> you're on the list. Actually, let me double check that, I'm pretty sure. Um, where is my sticky notes? I'll have to type it in the search bar. Yeah, you are, excuse me, you are on the list. Cause I, I remember like the first couple people that were on it cause we kept on going through it, but. Nix is still on the list because he, he's, you know, he's busy with his other stuff, I'm assuming, but like he's, he literally donated to be on the list and so he's at the top of the list because he's, he's, he's never, he's never here. Granted, I mean, obviously I don't expect him to be, but the whole point is like, I think he'll always have the top spot for like a while. So it's kind of funny. Anyways, uh, let's see. Bobby donated and said, which of King Arthur's knights was shaped like a circle? Circumference. And then the final one I have up, which I'm sure isn't the final one, but it's the last one I pulled up, it says, I burned my Hawaiian pizza last night. Should have used an aloha temperature. Sorry, Shogo. <laughs> Why are you saying sorry to Shogo? What did you do to Shogo? What did you do to Shogo? Oh, Cyberman, thank you for the rose. Unless I already said that, but I just saw it on the screen. I didn't know if I said thank you for it yet. So, wanted to cover my bases. Let's see. <clears throat> uh, Time Marshall donated and said, did you know that this year will be 20 years of Spider-Man 2? Ooh, really? I did not know that. I did not know that. Huh. What do you know? Natasha donated and said, if you look up Death Claws, you could understand how much I despise Cazadors. There's like 20 of them in a quarry junction and I'd rather face them. Let's see, Death Claws. Follow. Um... Whoa, yeah, these look pretty nasty. Honestly? Hmm. You said how many of them are inside a quarry? 20 of them? Hmm. Uh, I guess I'd have to see, because, like, I'm not going to give spoilers, because I know Thane's really, like, in spoilers, but, like, when I had to battle... When I, well, well, I mean, I already said Kazador a few times. Is that like a, is that already a spoiler? I don't think so. But when I had to battle him, like, it was pretty difficult. Well, it looked difficult, but that's all I will say. There were some things that I did that uh, made it not difficult. And honestly, it was actually really hilarious how it wasn't difficult. But, um, can I say how it wasn't difficult? Thane, I'm gonna say how it wasn't difficult, so you might just wanna- I'm sure- I'm sure people will let you know when I'm done talking about it, but anyways. Um, so basically, when you go in to fight Kazador, right? Um, it looks- it looks pretty bad. Like, there's a lot- there's a lot of people in there, there's a lot of, like, stuff going on. But anyways, the whole point is, is, I thought to myself, I'm like, he's a vampire, right? So- he and he doesn't have a tadpole right so which in the boulders gate the tadpole is like what gives the stereo the so we can walk in the sun but anyways i had a cantrip which allowed me to put light somewhere like sunlight 
And so I casted light on two, he was standing by a coffin. I casted it on the coffin. <laughs> and so the coffin lit up in light. And so he had, he was getting damage. It had disadvantage the whole time. And like, I, we wiped the floor with them. I mean, obviously if I didn't do that, he had a massive buff. He had a massive buff, which really would have been difficult, but no, it was actually pretty, uh, pretty easy on that end but that's all i will say but no 20 20 of death claws in a quarry i'm i'm sure is also very annoying very very annoying oh my gosh that's why i'm usually an owl bear whenever i do anything because like it's it, it gives you like a second life basically which i know in traditional dnd isn't like can't you know it's not you can't do that in dnd but i like that mechanic in boulder's game Mr. Wanapon donated and said, well, have a quick look up on the OT Arena London. I don't, what's that? Well, that's like, this is like a stadium. Yeah, if you're talking about like a stadium, I've never been to a stadium before. Well, other than like a baseball game, like there's like, like the Mud Hens baseball game here, like, or whatever, like I went to it once and I hated it. <laughs> it was so boring. But that was a baseball game, obviously. I don't know. Uh, I'm assuming other things play in your arena. Adam AD donated and said, I once had my entire life side cut off. Don't worry though, I am all right now. <laughs> I'm glad you're all right now, Adam. Entire left side cut off. I'm glad you are very, very okay. And yeah, you're all right now. <laughs> you're all right. <sighs> These dad jokes are gonna follow me forever. Garrick Anderson donated and said, but anyway, that manga I mentioned to you earlier is really great. I've already read a few volumes. It's very good, very wholesome. You'd like it. Oh, cool, okay. Thank you for the recommendation. Thank you, thank you. Popcourt has been a member for 18 months and said, let's not forget pre- pre-patch where you could throw Kazator off into chasms and instantly end the fight. I did it that way too many times. <laughs> yeah, it's... Yeah. I, I, I'm i now replaying through after the seventh patch and um, there's a lot of things that are different. You know, like just some things that you could kind of cheese before. You know what I mean? Like you could be like, oh, like I could, you know, you, it's a bit harder to do that now in some, some fights. But no, that's funny. That's funny that you did that. Natasha donated and said, you can wild shape owlbear in the new version of D&D. Really? Oh, that's cool. Let's go. Let's go. Let us go. Oh, we still have two more donations from Bobby that I'm assuming are dad jokes. Let us see what they are. Bobby said, three conspiracy theorists walk into a bar. Now you can't tell me that is a coincidence. <laughs> And he also said, I've been reading a horror book in Braille. Something bad is going to happen. I can feel it. Oh my gosh. He said, if you want, I can see the rest from Mama Tori if she likes dad jokes. No, no, don't save it for her. She will, she, she will dwell on the dad jokes. Please just give them all to me. Plus she comes in like right when I'm supposed to be ending. And so I'd hate for you to like, I'd hate to speed read all your donations because I'm trying to end. Uh, cause she likes to come in at the end and say hello. So, um, if you want your dad jokes to be read in a timely manner, you probably should donate them now. Let's see. So everyone said, what was your favorite Minecraft video you made and why? I don't really remember. It was such a long time ago. I mean, I just liked, I liked how we got Gloria the cat. <laughs> um, it, 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 my, doing Minecraft stuff wasn't like, something I was like super like I don't really know I guess I really wasn't like putting a, I don't want to say I'm not putting a lot of effort but since I'm not like a gamer like person I think I only played Minecraft a few times I'm not really sure which one was my favorite and why um yeah I just remember getting Gloria I thought that was fun Mr. Wanapon donated and said 
well you're gonna like the o2 arena stadium oh cool yeah no i saw it It looked really big mr one upon also donated so depending on what kind of show it's on yes yes we shall see what kind of show what kind of show it is in oh you're right natasha i did spit on the enderman <laughs> i was like i was like that's what you get but dude, dude, he was trying to fight me. I didn't even do anything to him. I don't know why he aggroed on me. That's like, you know, and I, I, that's what he got. That's just what he got. Oh, Shogo, thank you for the rose. Adam80 donated and said, a guy walks into a bar and says, ow. Ah, <laughs> uh, ah, uh, oh, oh, here they come. Ty Marshall donated and said, what do you, oh, here we go more. What do you call a belt made of watches? A waste of time. <laughs> oh, hold on, hold on. I was fascinated you spent so long taming Gloria. There was an art of it. I mean, listen, I had, I had to. I had to. It was like I wasted so many fish. Like I, it's just, it's just happening. She's becoming my cat. That's just the end of it. Yes. Okay. I'm trying to mix my matcha because I, it's probably needs to be mixed because it's been sitting here too long. <sighs> I've learned that I actually like, I like oat milk in like my matcha drink. It's actually pretty nice. <laughs> All right, hold on. Let me look on Kofi again, because I think I've heard some Kofi dings. I don't want to miss anything. Oh, we did miss one. Shogo donated and said, best girl, if I super chat you a rose, could it win me an extra brownie points for the dating show? You could even pretend it's a blue hydrangea. <laughs> Oh, that's really sweet. Shogo, I can't show favoritism that people will be donating so many roses and I wouldn't know what to do. That is very sweet of you, Shogo, but we, we have to, I have to look out at the auditions as they are. <laughs> you extra brownie points. <laughs> that's cute. Um, yeah, no, no, Shogo, no, no. Ari Rambi donated and said, Milind Bawa will be having his cataract surgery soon. Oh my goodness. Let's wish him a successful surgery and a speedy recovery. Yeah, I hope he I hope everything goes well. That's um that's definitely a very uh I don't I mean I don't know how invasive or serious it is, but that's you know it's a surgery, so I hope everything goes well. But no, um, yeah, gosh, I, I, I'm gonna have to like put aside some time to listen to all those auditions. There's like quite a bit, like a lot. Like, um, I got, I got so many like right as midnight was like approaching. Like I put a little reminder out cause I thought, oh, I wanna make sure people know. And some people literally were not aware. They were like, what's going on? I'm like, what do you mean what's going on? And so. Yeah, no, there was quite a bit. I have, oh my lord, look at that. Yeah, people were like right up, right up until like, like the deadline. A few people were a bit late. Some people were very late, but you know, um, you yeah, know, this is, yeah, there's so many. Oh my goodness. That's so much. Ooh, excuse me. Okay, I lost my- hold on, I lost where I was. Here we are. Summerman donated and said, I gave you a rose, then everyone steal my thing. <laughs> well, I mean, you just gave me a rose to give me a rose. Shogo was using it as like a potential brownie points. He was like, hey, hey, yo, can we get some extra brownie points up in this house? <laughs> Uh, but no, anyone is free to give me a rose. Obviously, it will not give you brownie points. We gotta stay fair. <laughs> but no, it's... I appreciate all of them. Oh, Aerie, thank you for the heart. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for the heart. Speaking of 
hydrangeas. I felt really out. Uh, I went to the store today to get some groceries and um, like they had a section in um, in the store where like obviously like there's flowers being sold and then there's like a little side cubicle where they have discounted flowers probably like on the ones that like w got wilted a bit and like dude like the flowers were like where were we wilted they were like botched like they got busted <laughs> like they were like they were like so messed up like the, the like the sunflowers were all like not even like little wilted like their heads were completely drooped the hydrangea was like shriveling. I was like, what is this? I'm like, these shouldn't even be sold. These are like, like if anybody bought these for anyone, they'd be like, they'd be like, bro, where'd you get these flowers, man? I mean, unless you're using the flowers for something else, like maybe, I don't know, like, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, like, obviously like for crafting, like some people, you know, actually dry out flowers or they, you know, whatever. But like, if you're actually going to use them to like give to somebody, like they were not, like they were all pretty bad. <laughs> Natasha donated and said, can I get brownie points just because? Ooh, ooh. Well, uh, I don't think Natasha entered, so she can just get brownie points. <laughs> Listen, you guys, Natasha's Natasha, all right? Natasha lives in my walls, <laughs> so she just, I guess she just gets brownie points. I don't know what to say. Oh, Eager, thank you for the heart. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, cookery, you're right. It's like if when someone asked if making art gave them like, oh yeah, like golden stars, like, oh, you get a star, you get a star. But if that's the case, then cookery would have so many stars, it's not even funny. Like he would, I, cookery, do you even know how much you've drawn for this channel? Like, do you even know? Like, I didn't know if you had a folder and maybe you could like see how many you have in the folder, but like, do you know? Like that, he has drawn quite a bit. Like he's drawn a lot. Like almost like every week he's drawing something for this channel. So like, I couldn't even imagine how much he has. So yeah, no, <laughs> you could never give out stars for artwork. It would like be insane. Lee Black, oh, Lee Black, thank you for the rose. Thank you, Lee. Thank you, thank you. Adam80 donated and said, did you hear about the guy who invented the knock-knock joke? He won the Nobel Prize. Oh, Adam. <laughs> Get brownie points. Can your boy get some brownies? You know what, Mr. Smeesh? <laughs> what the heck was that? Mr. I didn't even know if I said Mr. You know what, Mr. Smeesh? Sure. I make some pretty good brownies. Actually, I make some pretty good anything. I'm a pretty good cook, if I do say so. My well, actually, that's baking. But I'm good at baking and cooking, so. Life skills, y'all. Life skills. I don't know. I guess, like, I like to, like, know I can, like, do things, like... I don't want to say, I want to do things myself, but you know, it's like, you can, I don't know, like, it's cool to say, whoa, like, I can actually learn how to do this. Like, I remember, like, the, what is it called? They're called, uh, you know, macarons. I thought they were always so expensive. And I thought, what if I just make them myself? Same things for souffle or, like, chocolate cake, because honestly, homemade cake is way better than store-bought cake, in my opinion. Um, brownies or, well, you know what? I, I will say, box brownies and homemade brownies, some box brownies are really good. Like, Ghirardelli box brownies taste really great. Like, in a pinch, if you get Ghirardelli box brownies, you're in for a good day. But, um, but yeah, no. Yeah, we can get some brownies up in this house, Mr. Shmi. Oh, Cobalt Coyote, thank you for pie. Oh my gosh, we've been given pie, y'all. We've been given pie. You know, I think this is the first time I've been given a slice of pie. That looks like some good pie. Good pie. I do love pie. You know, now that I'm talking about pie, actually, we just made some pumpkin pie yesterday. I mean, obviously, it was, like, pre-made. We just cooked it in the oven. It was, like, a frozen one. But, um, uh, I remember it when I was in, what was it, middle school? I, I had a, I had a classmate. We were always at our odds, like, always. We were always arguing. He, he was annoying <laughs> but no he wasn't i mean we were like frenemies so like we would argue but then like we could also like be chill like it was it was kind of like half and half but um but anyways we got into the most heated argument about pie versus cake 
And he was trying to tell me that pie was better than cake. And I'm like, you're insane. I'm like, there's no way pie is better than cake. He's like, yes, it is. And we just, and he's like, you know what? He's like, one day you will know. One day you will see that pie is better than cake. You will, you will. And I'm like, you're nuts. I'm like, there's, I'm like, you know what? I'm like, no, I'm like, how could you? And guess freaking what? One day I was like, you know what? I think I prefer pie over cake, you know, like, I guess it depends. Granted, that was like before I started making my own homemade cakes. Like if, if I had to choose a pie over my chocolate raspberry cake, obviously I choose my chocolate raspberry cake. I think it's very dependent about like, it depends on what pie you're talking about. Like if chocolate cream pie versus vanilla cake, obviously I'm choosing chocolate cream pie. Or if you're talking, you know, you, you get what I mean. But at that point in, in time, I was only like having store-bought cakes and stuff. And like, I really wasn't making my own homemade cakes unless they were like from a box, you know? And I, liked pie better at that point and i was like and then it hit me like i could I, I went straight back to that memory of him saying that to me and i was like gosh darn it <laughs> like if, oh, if he knew he would never let me live that down i mean i don't speak to him anymore i don't know where the heck he is but i felt like somewhere in the world he knew he knew at that point in my life i actually preferred pie and i'm pretty sure he was pretty gosh darn happy about it <clears throat> is the dating show moved the dating show has never been set <laughs> I don't know when the dating show is happening. I still have to go through all the auditions. So there's really no set date for anything. So once I pick out the contestants and I email them, we will set a date. Like, so collectively everybody can, you know, all the contestants can show up. Then I will announce when the dating show is. But right now we don't know when the dating show is going to be happening. Hope that makes sense. Uh, Natasha donated and said, it's true. I come out of the walls to steal crumbs. It's all very delicious. 10 out of 10 would pay money for them. <laughs> Thank you, Natasha. Thank you. Yes, yes. Yeah, you know. I'm, you know, I'm gonna be making some more jelly. Actually, I don't know. Did I talk about that? I made some violet jelly. It, it, it turned out less jellyish than I wanted. I needed to use more pectin. But anyways, I'm not making dandelion jelly. Okay, I know that sounds insane, but hear me out. It tastes like honey. It tastes so freaking great. So I'm making some dandelion jelly. So I'm sure Natasha will get some of that too. But I will say this, trying to pick the petals off of dandelions, it wrecks your fingernails. Like there's some kind of residue on the petals that's like very, almost like, it's like waxy, almost like, I don't know how to explain it, but it, it, bed, it embedded into my nails. And once it oxidizes, it turns black. So I have this black stuff all on my nails and it looks like my, looks like my hands are dying. And like, I had to go to the store like this today and I was so afraid people were gonna be staring at my hands. But anyways, um. That was a tangent. <clears throat> Tyrion Draken donated and said car caramel chocolate brownies. Ooh, yeah. I a, a lot of my family really does like caramel with stuff. I'm I'm I, I like caramel. I wonder if I would just prefer more chocolate in the brownies versus having caramel. But I, you know, that that does sound pretty good. That does sound pretty good. Ty Marshall. Oh, thank you for the cake, Ty. Thank you for now. People are sending food items. <laughs> thank you for the cake, Ty. And thank oh, thank you for the burger show go. We got cake, burgers, and pie. And Mr. Speedy said a potato. Look at that. We are we are having a time. Yeah, everyone's saying pie is better than now we're having a thing in the chat. Cake is better. Cake. Everyone's saying cake. Someone's like pie is better. You know what? Oh my lord. Dessert pies are mid. Meat pies are the way to go. <laughs> Well, that, yeah, well, I can see Mr. Smee saying that. He, true, true to, true to, true to his homeland. But no, I do say now I do prefer cake. I do prefer um, cake. As long as it's like a homemade good cake. Like if you're buying a cake from Walmart, like nah. Like if you're, if you're buying a store-bought cake from Walmart, like one of those sheet cakes versus a pie, I'll prefer the pie. But if you're like buying, like, even if it's a box cake, if you're like buying a really good box cake, then I'd probably prefer the cake. It just, it just, I, it just, you, you gotta, you gotta prepare, prepare, you gotta compare like apples to apples. Well, I guess not apples to apples, but you have to like, it's like a case by case basis, right? Like a, a, a cake is, the cake is like so generic. Like there's so many different kinds of cake and there's so many different kinds of pie. So it really just depends. But no, for the most part, I would prefer cake now. But I, it's funny, at that little small portion of my life, I think I was like, for some reason, we were having a lot of cake. Like, I think like, um, like one of my aunts was like doing cake stuff. So she was making so much cake. 
And then like, so I was therefore getting a lot of extra cake that they, she didn't want, like she was making too much. It's a long story, but I think that's why I got sick of cake. But anyways, but plus like, I think she was using like cheap box cake. So I think that's why I didn't like it. Like if, you, if you're making good cake, it's good cake. All right, I gotta stop talking about cake. Wicked Penguin or Bobby has been a member for 17 months and said, wow, 17 months? What shall I use this milestone for? What does a CIA agent do when it's time for bed? He goes undercover. You going undercover, Bobby? Bobby's going undercover, y'all. <laughs> you know, but thanks for being a member for 17 months, Bobby. My goodness, it's been quite a while. It's been a very long time. We're, yeah, we're gonna be running up on two years here on memberships. That's crazy. Oh, 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 actually, no, I'll read these first, then I'll tell you guys about this. Garrick Anderson donated and said, I just thought of something funny. Can you imagine doing the model car stretch from Tom Tommy Boy to the rich guys in Cora, like Sato, Varric, and Cabbage Co? <laughs> um, yeah, I could see that. I could see that happening. I could see that. Oh, Iron sent over some pizza. Thank you for the pizza. Inept is sending over ice cream. You guys, I'm gonna, you guys, I'm gonna have too much food. I can't eat that much. My stomach is small. Honestly, I was actually getting mad at my stomach. I really, I was like, I forgot where we were. We were at like a restaurant and like, I could only eat so much of what was like, where were we? I don't remember, but I couldn't eat it all. And I really wanted to eat it all. Cause like, I wanted it. It was so good. I can't remember where we were, but all I remember is just being super mad. <laughs> I was like, gosh darn it. I don't know, y'all. The anxiety from college caused my stomach to shrink because I didn't eat that much, and so now I'm stuck with it. But I, th I think it's I think it's gotten bigger over the years. I've been able to eat a bit more since then, but you know. Ah, <sighs> no, no. Natasha donated and said, "I'll make you some hu Huangnam Pan, the best cake." Ooh. But no, no, I don't want to print it. I was gonna search it. <laughs> I'm gonna print up Pong Bong Pong. Oh, well, oh yeah, you talked about that. Those almost remind me of moon cakes. Is that bean paste? They almost look like, yeah, they remind me of the moon cakes. Except I might like these better because these ones, well, I know moon cakes, you don't have to have the yolk in it, but these look like they don't have yolk, so. Huh, I'm gonna look that up sometime. Oh, Wicked Pink, we have popcorn now. <gasps> All I need is some tapatio, y'all. Then we'll be set and ready to go. Now love popcorn. All right, let's check on Kofi, because I'm sure we got a few more to read. Let's see. We got two more from Bobby, which I am sure are uh, some lovely dad jokes. Let's see what he has to say. I gave my children one last warning about blowing their whistles indoors. Unfortunately, they blew it. He also said, I just applied for a job at a diner. I said, I bring a lot to the table. To answer a question earlier, Katori, I'd say I prepare all year for half <laughs> I prepare all year for half of these jokes and the other half the day of. I didn't think I'd corrupt the chat like this. Thanks, Natasha, for the dad jokes. I mean, no, Natasha betrayed me. Can't believe this. The ultimate betrayal. The woman in my walls. She lives in the walls. Betrayal. She probably heard me complaining about dad jokes all day and just thought, <laughs> just thought, I got him. <laughs> thought, oh yeah. Gosh dang. Oh, wait, hold up. We still have one more donation. Uh, oh, we never tweeted out the stream. I just noticed I had Twitter up on my other tab. Oh well. Holy smokes. I just saw on Twitter, I got tagged. He has 336 drawings. Kokiri, that's insane. You've drawn 336 drawings related to this channel. That's crazy. That is crazy. That is nuts. <laughs> Let's see. I already Piedmont donated and said, since you like games where you can customize your character, I think you'll enjoy Fallout New Vegas. I made Charlie the Rebel GF last time I played. I gave her an outfit with exposed midriff, Merc adventure outfit, a ponytail, and high charisma to make her more lore accurate. Ooh. Everybody seems to be talking about this now in chat. I didn't know. It looked more like a, like just like a, like a just first person shooter game when I first saw it. So I didn't realize that you could make a customized character. When did this come out? This came out in 2010. I'm surprised you customized the character. Huh. Interesting. 
interesting. But that's cool. You made Rebel GF. Let's go. I feel like she'd do well in that kind of environment, you know? I feel like that's definitely a rebel-y kind of aesthetic. The grunge. Cyberman donated and said, Chibi shenanigans, taggers- Oh, okay, hold on. I gotta drink some water if I'm gonna have to do tagger. <clears throat> All this talking is up. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> What's well, tagger to say? I knew Celeste was up to no good. Hold on, let me, let me get her voice. Her voice is more down in here. All right, let's just keep. Uh, sorry, I gotta like get. I gotta get her down in there, otherwise she sounds weird. <clears throat> I knew Celeste was up to no good. Let's just hope Cyburn's okay. Then everyone, and it says, then everyone runs to Celeste's home, knocks on the door, opens, and everyone looks down to see Chibi Celeste. Oh, and then I guess Chibi Celeste is saying this. She says, "If you're looking for Cyburn, he went west to Katori's house." And then Tagger said, "Tagger said." Oh, does Tagger say LOL you had it coming? <laughs> Can you imagine saying Tagger saying LOL? LOL. Wait, hold on. <clears throat> LOL, you had it coming. <laughs> LOL. I can't imagine Tagger saying <laughs> LOL. It just sounds funny. LOL. LOL, you had it coming. Yeah. Her vo I feel like <clears throat> Tagger's voice is like really hard to like do like laughs or anything that's more high pitch. Like, you know, like if she's screaming, it just it, it has to stay in this like darker octave what is that noise is someone running the hair dryer upstairs i don't know what the heck they're doing let's see shogo donated and said i'll be at work sometimes it won't even feel sappy but out of nowhere i'll let out a super huge yawn and think of you i'll be like whoa did best girl just yawn now can you confirm by texting me that you uh, yawn next time so i'll know if it's true <laughs> Oh my gosh. I don't think my yawns are that transferable, Shogo. That'd be funny if they were, though. <laughs> just like, I yawn and everyone across the world just starts yawning. They're like, gosh dang, where did that come from? <laughs> Natasha donated and said, New Vegas is best Fallout game. Would recommend. Ooh, okay. Okay, okay, I see you. Do -do -do. Oh, I will say though, if anyone, again, like, again, this is not a spoiler, so think and chill, but, um, if anyone replays Baldur's Gate, like, for a second run through, I do recommend trying mods. It does make it super more fun. Like, I, I tried, um, uh, um, party limit be gone, so you can invite everyone to your party, so you don't only have to have just four people in your party. So, um, now I just have everyone in my party and it's so cool because they, 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 they all interact with each other. Like every step of the way, they're always talking to each other because there's so many characters to interact with now. Um, so I don't know. I, 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 that's been a really cool experience. And also, obviously, it makes combat a lot easier. Um, but here's a warning, though. And again, this isn't a spoiler. Don't worry. I'm, I'll be very ambiguous about this. But um, if you're going to travel to a certain place where there's going to be a cutscene that involve that you know it's going to involve your characters they're only going to show four characters and there was a bug where only four of the characters showed up with me after the cutscene where we traveled somewhere and the other character that was what well, was Carlac she got stuck in the cutscene I could not get her out of it I tried to click on her and tried to let me I thought maybe she's in camp or maybe she's back at the other place she was stuck in a void. I had to reload. So if there's ever going to be an area where you know you're going to be traveling and most likely there's going to be a cutscene, you might want to go back down to four characters because that was one of the bugs I found. Is that like, unless it was just on my end, maybe I was unique, but Carlac got stuck in a void. And yeah, she, uh, I gotta be, <laughs> so now I'm being very careful. Let's see. Um... Yeah, Hold on, let me check on Kofi. I saw we just got another super chat. Oh, Pupcorn, you know what I'm talking about? Okay, cool. Yeah, I got- I, I panicked pretty hard. My best girl got freaking stuck in a void and I was like- I was beside myself. I was like, oh my- so I just went- I had to- I had to bite the bullet. I had to go back to her previous save, which sucked, but you know what? It was worth because there's no way I'm letting Carlac being stuck in a void. It just ain't- ain't worth it. Bobby donated and said, okay, so he says, Katori said, oh, Katori, so I say, how am I going to stop him from telling dad jokes? And Neko says, leave it to me. So she walks to Bobby. Please, Bobby, no more dad jokes for me. Wait, wait it says, please. I'm sorry. Let me say that correctly. 
Please, Bobby, no more dad dicks today. Oh, let me say that again. I like slurring my words together. Let me just, you know, let me just reread the whole thing. I'm like, I can't speak. <clears throat> There's like so much crud in my throat. It's getting annoying. Hold on. So I have to keep on clearing my throat. Blame the weather. <clears throat> okay. How am I going to stop him from telling dad jokes? Leave it to me. <clears throat> Please, Bobby, no more dad jokes today for me. And he says, okay. And I'm like, wait, what? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> I mean, you can't say no to Neko. You can't say no to me. Please. I'm just a little Neko in a big world. Not knowing where I'm going. Let's see. Ty said, miss my super chat. Oh no, Ty, I'm sorry. Did I miss it? Where's your super chat? Oh, wait, are you, are you mean your ice cream cone? I thought I... Or maybe I did miss your ice cream cone. I, maybe I said someone else's ice cream cone and that's why. Oh, Natasha said it's very much Korean version of mooncakes. Aha! I thought they were. Cool. Now we know. And actually, I missed Natasha's too, so thank you for letting me know, Ty, because I missed yours and Natasha's. Exactly, Natasha. We would go all the way back for Carlac. I would reload from the beginning. Ain't no way. Ain't no way we're missing her. I will say though, again, this isn't a spoiler because I mean, everybody knows you can do whatever. You can kill anyone in this game. I literally offed, I, I actually, in this run, I ended up offing Shadowheart. It was just, it just, you know, it happened. So, this is definitely gonna be a different playthrough, that's for sure. Definitely gonna have some different events. So that was something that happened over the weekend. Well, actually not the weekend, I guess it was during the week. When did I off her? I think I said what I did. Hold on. Let's get some receipts. When did this happen? Hold on. I remember messaging. Hold on. I'm just curious when I did because I don't remember. Um, I was on the 16th. That was four days ago. I thought it was longer. Well, the more you know. Oh shoot, where's my tab? Here it is. What? I didn't accidentally, it wasn't accidental. Okay, it happened. I can't say what happened because Thane doesn't want spoilers, okay? But listen, I had to side with Lizelle on this one. That's all I will say. And you know what I'm talking about. All I'm saying, I had to side with someone because someone was trying to do something a little bit dishonorable. So, and I was actually playing with what my character would have done, this specific Dark Urge character. So that is all I will say. In my first run, I didn't do it. And then my first run, I didn't. But it's my second run, and this is my Dark Urge character, and it was decided. And oh, actually, wait, here, here's this, here's this. This isn't a spoiler, because I guess this is just, this is just random knowledge, but if you fight a character, like, actually, I used non-lethal damage, okay? I actually only knocked her out. I did not actually off her, okay? Even though, um, where is it? Even though she was only knocked out, like, she was knocked out. She was not offed. The next day, people were still talking like she died. So that was really weird. So I guess if you do fight a companion, and even if you knock them out and they're not, like, offed, or they're, you know, I'm just saying oft because every time I don't say oft, my video ends up getting demonetized and I have to put it for review. But anytime they don't, anytime, so, mute? What? Mute what? What are you talking about? What are you, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not giving spoilers. I'm just, just common knowledge. Anytime you fight a companion and you, and they're knocked out, for some reason it counts as them being oft. I don't know why. So, actually, I can say I did not off her. I actually didn't. I have proof. I actually have it recorded. Because <laughs> um, I was... So, yeah. Um, yeah, no, I did not. I actually did not off her. She, they just... I guess she just left on 1 HP and everyone decided that she was offed. It was weird. Because I, I actually didn't 
want to like, I was like, you know what? I'm like, we're not, I, yeah. So that is true. I actually, I didn't, even though I guess she is, but she really wasn't. So I don't understand. I used non, I used passive damage. I used non-lethal. So I don't understand. But anyways. Um, where am I at? Did I read all these? Oh, cool. All right, cool. I am caught up. <laughs> Garrick Ernestson said, look up fancy lad snack cakes. What the balls? These are cute. <gasps> oh, they look so cute. They're like little cupcakes. Oh, is it fall Fallout Foods? Those are cute. I like them. They look cute. <laughs> Mystery ASMR said, you should play an Inu Aka, a girl dog. What is that? Oh, Inu? Inu? Oh, oh. Oh my gosh, that is so embarrassing. Inu, AKA a girl dog. Sorry, I was reading it as like a title. Yeah, okay. You know, have we ever done a girl dog? I don't think we have. We've never done, we've done like a Neko. We've done a bunny girl. We've never done a dog girl. I mean, we've done a werewolf. Does that count? You should recruit Minthara. She's a peach. You know what? I wanted to, but like, I felt like playing my character, it was just like, I felt like she wouldn't have done that. You know what I mean? I mean, it's... Without giving... I mean, I mean, I don't really know. I don't... I mean, Minthara is like pretty early on. I don't even know where Thane's at, but like, it would have been weird to like, recruit her. You know what I mean? I mean, you gotta know what I mean, right? I mean, Minthara, she's definitely not on the good side. <laughs> so, but... No, I mean, it'd been cool. I, I haven't played with her, so maybe maybe I'll do a super, super evil run and then we'll recruit her. Oh, and actually, I will say this. I saw someone ask this in chat. Um... I don't know if Thane's still listening. I, so I guess don't listen. I'll, I'll explain this really fast. Um, but no, uh, in terms of the dark urge for the bard, um, I actually found a way to save her. I did not, I, 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 um, I did not, I, I played dark urge with my siblings and we got to the part already where obviously you off the bard and I didn't want that to happen in my personal playthrough of, as the dark urge. So I actually went and I knocked her out at the, um, uh, what's it called? Uh, the, um, the grove. I knocked her out before I long rested. And, um, and then, yeah, she was saved. She was saved. I, she was not off. It was some random dragonborn lady, which obviously I still felt bad about. But, um, yeah, no, I actually, there's a way to save her. You just gotta knock her out at the grove. And, um, when she's knocked out and you long rest, then she won't come to your camp, so... Yep, that's it. There you go. That's how you save her. Anyways, I'm done. Um, uh, let's see. We got a donation from Iron. Let's see. Ooh. Iron Piedmont donated and said, Since you use mods for Baldur's Gate, Fallout New Vegas has a lot of mods to choose from as well. Custom quests, weapons, characters, etc. Mike and Zach from Mike Burn Fire has made a lot of videos of their adventures in New Vegas with mods. Ooh. Ooh, that's cool. Yeah, mod, mods definitely, I mean, before I really wasn't a fan of mods. I always thought like mods were, um, you know, uh, what's the word? Uh, mods were just like, I, I don't know. I was never really, I don't know why I wasn't a fan of them. I don't know if it was because I didn't want to change the original game or if I thought they were too tedious to set up. But now like, it's really, it's, mods are really nice. Mods are really nice. I do enjoy mods. I'm gonna make sure I didn't miss any super chats. There's Natasha's, there's Mystery ASMR's, there's Garrick Anderson's. Okay, I don't think I missed any. 
Oh wait, who's Adam 80s? Adam said, Neko didn't ask me to stop. Why did the old man fall down the well? He couldn't see that well. <laughs> Adam, no. Adam, no. Also, I'm sorry if I missed your super chat, Adam, again. I don't know how I missed it. That's really weird. Natasha donated and said, I can teach you to recruit her for good playthroughs. Minthara, not Elfra the Bard. Ooh. Okay. You tell me how. It's too late now. It's too late for me. It's too late now where I'm at to do that because she's gone. <laughs> she's gone. So, um, but yeah, no, that'd be cool. That'd be cool. I'm assuming you just use non-lethal. That's I'm assuming that's what you do. Mystery ASMR donated and said, have you heard of the Sir Aelin mod? Ooh, what's that? I mean for Baldur's Gate. Sir Aelin. What is that? Um. Oh wait, does that mean you can have her as a companion? If so, that'd be really cool. Wicked Penguin donated and said, is it okay for Thane to unmute? Or, I mean, I'm I'm done talking about Baldur's Gate stuff, I think, other than what Mystery ASMR just said, because she said if I heard of the Sir Alien mod, and I haven't. I don't know if that's going to open up a can of worms. I mean, at the moment, I'm, I'm just going to be reading donations. So, um, but no, I, I haven't heard of it, uh, Mystery. I'm assuming, um, I'm assuming that that just means that she can be a companion, right? But yeah, I mean, he can unmute for now, unless, uh, so, unless, uh, Mystery, uh, you know, asks about the mod, unless he doesn't want to hear about the mod. I don't know. Garrick Anderson donated and said, You should really play the Stick of Truth. You get a good laugh as well as cringe from playing it. I love how they add their own spin on fantasy. Ooh. Let's see. Oh, no, I know that one. I don't know why I blanked for a second. Yeah, I know Stick of Truth. Stick of truth. I've seen people play it. I've never actually played it myself, but I thought it was really cool. Cyberman says he wants Neko to say. <laughs> Just he wants Neko to say, come on, Katori, sing. Me and Cyberman love your voice. And I'd be like, no. No. No, thank you. Hello. <laughs> do, 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 do. I know Stick, Stick of Truth is not the most wholesome game. I know. <laughs> but I, I've seen it and I, I, I have, I am, South Park is pretty funny, so. I know it's not everybody's cup of tea. Actually, also, let me make sure. Sorry, one second. Why did this pop up? Go away. Yes, I did. Yes, I did, Shogo. I got a uh, hairstyle and a face mod to match me better. Obviously, it's not exact. Like, there's no way you can find a face that looks exactly like yours. There's just no way. It's just too hard. But I think it does look more similar to my face than the one I had previously. Like, um, like the like the eyes needed to be a bit more. Ra the face needed to just the, this the overall shape like the nose needed to be a little different the eyes and obviously the lips I think my lips are a bit bigger than the one I had so this girl's a bit similar but I feel like some of it still needs to I mean obviously you can't there's no way you can get an exact copy but you know <sighs> but I was able to get a uh, hairstyle that had like a ponytail so and I wear ponytails a lot so I thought that that worked it's cute Show us the proof. <laughs> I'd like to. I just don't. I don't have it up right now. Maybe like a photo of like one of my um, Baldur's Gate character. I could. Although it is the end of stream. I, I know my mama's going to come down to say hello to y'all. Because I know she likes to come down and say hello. So I guess while she's making her way down, I can see if I can find a photo that I can show you guys. Hold on. Um, Gosh, there's so many. I take so many screenshots. <laughs> um, I guess which... Don't worry, the screenshot won't have spoilers. It'll just be of her face. But, um, what 
I guess which one? Like, do you guys want the one from my first playthrough or like the one that's modded? I'm assuming you want the one that's modded, right? And you could probably make the mod yourself for a better self-insert. Ha <laughs> yeah, I could. I will just- I will 3D model my own face. Grant, I just don't have the time. I wonder how you do that. Like, how do you make a mod? Like, I don't even know how you would- How would you make a mod? That's what I want to know. But no, here, I can- I can see if I can look it up real quick. Like, wait, did you guys want the one that was modded or unmodded? Mod? Someone said mod. I prefer unmodded so I can draw it. What? Well, I mean, they're- they're kind of- Okay, I don't know which one to show- you know what, whatever, here, we'll just- we'll- we'll find it. Hold on. I don't know! Hold on, I gotta make sure it's- Can I take a screenshot of, like- Wait, where's- is this one a good one? Like, this one doesn't give anything away, right? Why is this not loading? Don't die on me now, please! The only thing that was a little annoying was that, um... Okay, this one should be fine. Basically, it's just me dismissing Will, so that shouldn't do anything. Hold on, where is this screenshot? Which one do I want, though? I took, like, multiple, because I like the lighting in it. I thought the lighting looked pretty. I think it's the first one. Can we just, like, throw it in here? Wait, hold on before I throw it in there. Hold on. Hold up. Oh, also, she's here now. You want to say hi? Yes, I am here, everybody. Hello, 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 hello. <clears throat> sorry, I can't see chat. All I'm seeing is a bunch of Baldur Gate pictures. Sorry, sorry. Once she starts talking about this, she can't stop. I don't know what to tell you people. Listen, listen. Okay, yeah, I don't think this shows anything good. It doesn't show any of the... Okay, sorry. I'm just double-checking some things, okay? Hold on. Did this work? There you go. This was the modded version. There she is. I'm dismissing Will right now. Um, but there she is. That's modded. I know Koku wanted to see unmodded, but I'm gonna let my mom say hi to y'all. Hello, everybody. Oh, I can see chat. So she finally popped it up here. Um. Well, hello, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, Smee. Hello, Spaceman. Hello, Ethan. Hello, Dan. Hello, Ty. Hello, Thane. Hello, Shogo. Hello, Lee. Hello, Cyberman. Hello, Iron. Hello, Jesus. <laughs> hello, AJ. Oh, Cyberman, thank you for the rose. So I wanna make sure I didn't miss any donations. That's fine. Um, okay, cool. I don't think I did. Wait, wait, and was she's that just the moving rose? the chat all around, so I can't see any bass. But I said most of hello to most of you anyway. Oh, Mr. Wanapon, thank you for the donation. The chat, he says hello to you. Chat. Hello, Mr. Wanapon. And you know, you know, Ty, you were supposed to remind me to ask Smee something, and I can't remember the name of that thing that you were telling me about. But it's some sort of food in, in, in the UK. It's a sausage roll, I think. All right, let's see. You told me to ask. Smee what he thought of the sausage now I'm, roll. Now I'm trying to find my other character that's like, is this a good screenshot of her? I don't know. And I hope y'all saw my tweet about your dreams this morning. Follow your dreams. Don't give up. Okay, I'm trying to find one that... Gosh, I needed to take more screenshots. And again... All I'm seeing is your screenshot, so I can't see your chat. I'm sorry. Someone asked to see the unmodded, so I was trying to find one. I, I mainly took video clips versus screenshots now that I think about it, so I think that's why I'm not finding as many as I thought I had. I took a lot of video clips, not screenshots. You know what? This, this, this one should be adequate, right? Like, you kind of see her face. She's technically blue. The lighting... Um, the lighting makes her look not blue, but she's actually blue. Let me make sure it just shows. Yeah, it just shows the bottom parts here. Okay, cool. Will that work? Can I throw that in here? I can! Yeah, this is unmodded. There she be! There she be! She's like half-elf. And like... She's supposed to be have a bluish skin. This one's purple, so we did like purple and blue. This one I was so mad. This one I was mad that I didn't get a part. It's like down the middle. I wanted it to be like a part. But you know what? You get what you get. It was a ponytail and it looked nice. And I guess it kind of fit the horns. If it was parted, it might mess with the horns. But anywho. Yeah, she's, she has like light blue skin. It's hard to tell in this lighting. It looks kind of bad. But anywho. All right, I'll let you see the chat again, Mama. Hold on. Oh, yeah, he just said hello. Uh, Ty said, yes, Mama Tori. It's called Greg's. Greg's? I thought we were talking about a sausage roll or something like that. Well, Greg's was some kind of place that you can get all this yummy food or something like that. Um... 
But yeah, I mean, I there should be a better one of this. Hold on. I mean, this this one just looks like <laughs> she's back looking for the pictures again. I'm just saying, like <laughs> she just doesn't she doesn't look blue. She doesn't look how she's supposed to look. Wait, wait, does this one do it better? This is when well, this one will give a spoiler, I think. I don't know. <sighs> do I seriously not have one? Oh, these are Hogwarts Legacy freaking screenshots. I mean, this one, she's more blue, but I feel like she looks weird because of the lighting. It's just something's going on. And then she looks freaking mad. You know what? We'll just take a snip tool. We'll take a snip tool so that way Thane doesn't get spoiled. You don't know what the heck's going on. You, you don't just have to save it. Just, can't you just copy and paste it or no? Um, no. Oh. I gotta, I gotta like, I don't think I can copy and paste into, can I? I don't know. Right. Actually, I do not know. I'm just gonna click and drag it. There we go. I just I had to snip tool it because uh there was some dialogue that would have spoiled. So I guess like she's more blue in this one from the lighting. That was her camp clothes, by the way. That was not her armor. Okay, I didn't do her like that. But anyways, there now we have like a little collage of people. There you go. It's covering up my actual face, but you know what? It's fine. You know, we'll just hide all these now. You guys got a glimpse of it. That was, yes, that was that's me in Baldur's Gate. Still not exactly the hairstyle or the face, but I got a bit closer with this one, but still, like, it still looks too much like a Yas Queen, you know what I mean? But anywho. Alrighty, y'all. Uh, Natasha said blue as in the elf, as in the elf half a drought. No, she's just half elf. I just, I just picked, like, a light blue skin. Uh, so, it's, but no, she's not drow. She's just half elf. Well, did Smee answer or is, did he leave? What? Smee? Yeah. Wait, wait, go back. I see Smee. He said blue half elf. Oh, I thought he was. I didn't know if he was going to answer about the other thing I said. Okay, it's fine. Uh, Arambi said, Mamatori, I am as excited for the Umbrella Academy season four as you are. I love Five and Klaus, and I love the actor who plays Klaus, Robert Sheen. Sheehan? Sheehan? Um, oh, so that's how you spell it. Yeah, I spelled it wrong. I spelled it like almost like Santa Claus or something. But yeah, I remember now that's how it's spelled. And yes, those are my two favorite characters, number five and Klaus. Um, they're. Uh, they make the show. They really do. So I, I hope this is a good season. I mean, the last season was a little meh, but... Um... Oh, Smee so said sausage rolls are goaded. Oh. And hey, I just found out today what goaded means, so... Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's so weird. I just found out today, remember? Yeah, you did. Yeah, yeah, you did. I did. So, cool. So, someday, if I ever make it to the UK, I will eat one. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, no. Yeah, I hope Umbrella Academy is better than last season. I didn't like last season too much. I know, but first season was awesome. Well, no, yeah, I'm not saying I don't like Umbrella yeah. Academy. I liked the first season. I just didn't like the second season. And I think the reason I love number five so much is for, you know, everybody who knows that I love um, Back to the Future and stuff. Like, I love the time travel thing. I love how he can zip in and out of time. I, I just, I think that's cool. <laughs> Plus, I love how he's played by a young person, but he's supposed to be an old person. I think that is the most <laughs> cool, ingenious thing. I mean, honestly, I think it's just the personality that's just really funny to listen to, you know? Yes, so. yes. You have this young person talking with the wisdom of an experienced older person. Yes, ma'am. But yeah, there's probably some sausage rolls in the U.S. Because Mr. Me's like, surely there's some sausage rolls you could find in the U.S. Well, um, you know, I looked up, um, oh, Umbrella Academy is a show that Why? was on Netflix. I looked up what a sausage roll looks like, and it looks very similar to our Hot Pockets here in America. Mm -hmm. So... But yes, y'all, thank you so much for coming. I'm gonna, I, I, I wanted to announce something real quick because I, this, I do have something that actually I do have to announce. Um, for this coming May, I'm gonna do something like a little fun event. I wanted to do it last year, but I just didn't think of it in time because May already happened by the time I thought of it. But I know there's a Mermaid thing going on. Like, you know, it's like Mermaid. So it's like mermaids for May. Um, so I'm gonna do like, a, it's it's not a massive event, but I'm gonna do a little thing where on, on Patreon, there'll be some little extra goodies. I mean, you don't have to pay anything extra for it. It'll just be given extra. Like there will be a, a re-edited photo of Coriala, which, uh, I think looks much, much better. Uh, there was a picture I, I uh, gave on my Kofi, which I think the face looks horrendous. And so I've re-edited it. So the face looks lovely now. So it's kind of like remastered. And um, I'll be giving a little extra audio uh, of Coriella on Patreon. And then a little kind of mermaid singing audio. You know, like her, her like 
song or, or whatever you want to call it. It's like a full version. Um, if you want like a full version of it. So that'll be, I'll probably do an announcement about it. So that way everyone's aware. Cause I know not everybody comes to streams, but there'll be like a little mermaid event on Patreon. And I think I'll give a preview of it on my regular YouTube channel. So like you can always just see a preview of it. Uh, but yeah, it will be, all of that will be on Patreon in May. So thought I would let y'all know. And hello, Lloyd the Green Prime. I'm glad you're new. And also, Natasha oh. donated and said, sorry, I wanted to get this out. Okay. I have to pee so bad. Oh, okay. <laughs> Natasha okay. donated and said, in the game D&D in Baldur's Gate 3, as a half elf, you choose your ancestry, high elf, wood elf, or drow, dark elf. Figured I'd ask, lol. Oh yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, no, mine was a half elf. It was a, uh, oh, 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 I know what you mean. It was a half high elf. It was a half elf, uh, half high elf. Um, I think for the ancestry. And also, um, somebody asked, is Umbrella Academy like sci-fi? Sci yes, I would say it's sci-fi, right? Kind of. It's it's sci-fi... Mr. I, I guess I would say it's oh. sci-fi. I would say so, yeah. yeah. Mr. Wanapon donated and said goodbye, good night, Katori, and Mama Tori. Well, thank good you, night, Mr. Mr. Wanapon. Yes. Um, but yeah, so uh, I don't think I missed anybody's donations. But yes, Natasha, uh, it was a half high elf and, for my first one, because obviously my second one was a tiefling. And... Um, well, yes. everybody in the in, you know, everybody in the Umbrella Academy has powers, right? Yes. So that would be considered sci-fi, wouldn't yes, it? Yes, yes. Yep, yep. And uh, yeah, so just, uh, yeah, I'll get on to trying to figure out why my merch hasn't come in yet. I know some of you have been asking about that. Um, again, just to reiterate, the dating show, I don't know when it's going to be. I have to go through all the auditions first. And um, again, just as I said, as you know, we'll be having a little mermaid event on Patreon, and then there will be a preview that is posted on YouTube as well. Um, but uh yeah thank you all for coming and i will see you all next week will you um, i don't know okay i guess <clears throat> it I... depends on when she gets back from a place we need to go <sighs> okay i may be here next week i will I'll, I'll i will i will let you guys know in advance if something pops up where i can't be here but um yes okay <laughs> All right, I gotta go to the bathroom. Bye, guys. Bye, Thank you so much for coming. I will night. see you all hopefully next week. If not, we'll push it to another day or we'll figure something out. So bye-bye, y'all. Bye-bye.